listening listeners and welcome back to your favorite or most hated podcast of all time hindsight is horrifying this is your beloved dark jader representing from the studio and we are continuing our awesome streak of halloween movies oh Ooh. so yes uh today <laughs> picking the scariest movies we can come I, up with i know <laughs> no. it we're working on it uh, I, we're I gonna mix it up. I'm pretty scared with with one choice in particular that we'll be doing. We're not gonna tell you what it is. You guys have to wait. I, I'm refusing to watch it as of right now because the man who chose it, you know who you are. Anyway, well, of course you know because you can go on a list on the internet and find him. <laughs> you get like an alert if he moves into your neighborhood. Oh God. <laughs> I, uh, oh, it's a good thing he doesn't listen to any other episodes Ooh. but his. So anyhow, uh, welcome back, listeners. Thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Hindsight is Horrifying. Today, continuing our Halloween fun, we will be discussing 1993's Hocus Pocus, starring Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Holly, how do you say her last name? I don't. Najimi? Yes. I, 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 sure. Yes. Um, Holly Najimi is it, my it, it, It's a very odd thing that it's like, oh, I know her. Oh, I know her. Who is that? Internet troll, her name. the second yeah, you hear yeah, this, because yeah. he's corrected us on pronunciation of names before, so I know we can rely on him. Uh, he'll correct us from his mother's yes, basement yes. amongst his figuring collection. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we we are talking about 1993's. Now, hang on a second. Focus. Don't insult him in your irritating tenor. Because that's what he said about you. Oh, is that what it yes, is? Yes, you were irritating tenor. You never told me what he, <laughs> yeah, what he dissed me it. on. Is this the person oh. who wrote the review? Yes. Oh, yeah. You no. saw it, right? I did. Well, because yeah. then I wrote one. You wrote a magnificent review. Thank you very much. I, have well, an I only speak yeah. the truth. Yes. Annoying tenor. Huh. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> His whole review? or Yes. Oh, so His that's whole. just one of the many things he said about me. Yes. He, he evidently uh, took... Uh, some time out from his very busy schedule of being unemployed and uh, pleasuring himself um, to uh, <laughs> yes to biting on a lemon. Um, <laughs> we're talking about you. Oh, God. You're internet famous now. Oh, super! Uh, but isn't that why we were making the beanbag chair with my face on it? For him to buy? <laughs> yes. So we're already way off the rails, guys. Sorry about that. Just a little bit. So, Jason, um, I'm hearing a familiar voice here in the studio. Why don't you introduce our guest for Hocus Pocus? Well, you know, I would say guest, but I think at this point it's just a member of the extended family. Yeah, because you know? uh, as of this month, she'll she'll be the reigning queen on yeah, yeah appearances yes. on the show. Honey, well, I'm home. Well, I think I think the only honest thing would be to ask her to introduce herself, which is what regular hosts do. Yeah, so, so. take it away, friend. All right. Um, good morning, good evening, uh, hindsighters. It's me, Katie, again. Woo! And uh, I chose the wonderful, the classic, the Disney Hocus Pocus. Yes. Yes, which which we have had several sort of, I guess you would say, like children's young person movies picked for our Halloween extravaganza. I was thinking about that, that, and honestly, like I know nothing we've watched up to this point has been remotely scary. Uh, no. Now, are you afraid of the dark? I was scared of it when I was a little kid, but I, when I rewatched it, just nothing. Whereas I think Hocus Pocus is finally inching us in the right direction. Well, <laughs> it, it has it has a child who dies. Yeah, there's some pretty serious and it has subject a book, matter. Uh, made of human skin, with uh, an active eyeball in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's where it's uh, got zombies. That's how mad I yeah, Moody actually zombie. lost yeah. his eye. Zombies aren't really scary. I mean, the, I think the book made of human oh, skin. Not Billy the Butcher it's a zombie. Little, yeah, a little you, worse. Yeah, the you mean Edward Scissorhands without the scissors? No, you mean <laughs> yeah. Sideshow Bob as a zombie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's that what works he looks there. Like. Yeah, well, zombie Sideshow. I don't know. Bette Midler right now is she's the old hag witch. She's kind of creepy looking. Yeah, yeah. It, it, we are, of course, talking about the nineteen. Uh, I'm going to. We've guess, already said ninety three. It like three times. It's ninety three, yes, right? Ninety three. Okay. Yes. We are, of course, talking about Hocus Pocus, starring Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker. And, are you just repeating and, everything and, wait, I just? I was going to do a thing. I had a bit I was going to do where I went. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that lady. What's her name? Holly Najimi. Najimi. That's. In that's what we're sticking with. That's what we're going with. What we're sticking okay, with. I can live with that. That's I can live with that. My guess. You're so. gonna have to. Uh, but yes, we are watching a movie that uh, again sort of slipped by me as far as the age 
thing goes because I was four, I was fourteen when this movie came out. Uh-huh. Not a movie a lot of fourteen year old boys are going to flock to. I can't imagine. Yeah. They talk about yabos. They, they do. do. <laughs> the only Disney movie I know of that talks about yabos, mm-hmm. um, which is a word that's never, as far as I know, ever been applied to breasts until You've this movie. You've never heard that. Yabos. Yeah, I've heard it before. I this movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never. I've. Never heard of yabos as a euphemism for breasts. It's, it's a thing. I've yeah. heard it before. Okay. Uh, I can't pinpoint exactly where at the moment, but yeah, I've definitely heard it before. Um, so yeah, we open on the movie. Uh, Katie, would you like to give us a quick synopsis of what this movie is about? Absolutely. So this movie starts out about the Sanderson sisters, and they are aging witches, and they are trying to become youthful and live forever, you know, like Aren't you do. We all? Like Highlander. Yeah. Um, and, but they didn't get it right. Um, and so they start abducting children and they are found out and they are hanged, you know, a la Salem witch good, trials. Good, good use of the correct word. Cause Thank they, you. they yes. murder the sister of Thackeray, Thackeray Binks. Binks. Yes. <laughs> what a name. Absolutely. Maybe that's Jason's middle name. He won't tell us what Th- it is, Thackeray. listeners. I, Thackeray. That, that'd be a cool name, though. Yeah. I'd See, love Thackeray. He's See, owning every other yeah. name we give him. Yeah, that would be one. great. Yeah. But anyway, so they're trying. They um, they are executed. And then um, a virgin lights the black flame candle and resurrects them. And so we spend the rest of the movie trying to you, defeat the witches. You know, look, this was a Disney movie. And one of the things that I thought of when we watched it or when I watched this was how many conversations occurred around the country with little kids going, Mom, what's a virgin? <laughs> because, Absolutely. Because if you're they a little kid, you point, don't know. Yeah, they hit I, that point pretty hard. They make it. They make several yeah, jokes about it. It is the film. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like you're a virgin, <laughs> loser. Yeah. And they're like in. They're not. He's not old enough to drive yet. No. So <laughs> I know. Well, this he, was he Michael Eisner. Drive. This was a very Eisner sort of project i can see it and yeah. it's it's kind of funny it wasn't well received it's a cult classic now i mean everybody uh, uh, most everybody i've ever talked to especially if they're a lady this is one of their favorite halloween movies of all time but when it first came out apparently entertainment weekly <laughs> originally called it a piece of corny slapstick trash so it wasn't exactly popular at first well it did come out in like the summer Versus, yeah, that's a bad, that that's a bad call. Yeah, yeah that's in October a bad call. time. Yeah, and, and Bette Midler does look like the Queen of Hearts. Oh, she does. Uh, yeah, she she really does. I've never put that together, but Sarah Jessica Parker, those eyebrows are uh, Sarah way Jessica, too look, dark. I'll, I'll I'll be honest though, Sarah Jessica Parker. I think this is the hottest she ever was. Was in this movie or Ed Wood? Okay. I'm just gonna say that. She, I, she's very attractive. This, yeah. Those eyebrows are super dark. I think dark. she's a very polarizing type of attractive. Like there are some guys who think that she is the most beautiful woman on God's green earth, and there are others who just can't stand her. Well, you see, it's kind of weird for me because, like, <laughs> like Ed Wood and this, I think she's very attractive. Everything past that, I, she kind of looks like Alice Cooper to me. <laughs> you know, well, what's or, that movie? My dad loves. She was really pretty in it uh, with Nicolas Cage, where he dresses up like Elvis. He's done it in more than oh, one movie, yeah, but the, no, the, the know, Las Vegas one. I know. What you're, yeah. Um, oh no, they're in like Hawaii, and they end up in Las Vegas. It's We're not, the flying it, Elvises. Yeah. Utah chapter. <laughs> it's not. It's not Bubba Hotav. Uh, that's a much better movie. <laughs> anyway, um, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but she was pretty but, in that movie. Well, no, I actually think one of the reasons the movie got panned originally was because of Bette Midler. Let me explain. When you put Bette Midler in a movie, it automatically sort of takes you from, you know, B-League movies. Now you're in the A-League. Oh, yeah. You've got Bette Midler in your movie. Oh, yeah. And now you're going to get judged as, well, this is a Bette Midler movie. Exactly. I think the standard is a little bit higher. Yeah, so I, I, it's kind of not fair to the movie. I agree. But it, what, what's really ironic about that in particular is the fact that, (laughs) yeah, they're all casting the spell on, Zachary, Zachary over there, in the, oh Thackeray. <laughs> Sorry, with a th. But uh, with Bette Midler in particular, it looks just like Salem from team, uh, from Sabrina. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the original. It does. Maybe creepy. maybe playing the same Salem. cat. You never know. Yeah, there was yeah. multiple cats. Oh. How many exactly? I do not know, but there were ones for cuddling. There was ones for, for jumping. <laughs> I want to buy that I want to buy that cat. And the kids hated working with the cats because 
cats are, you know, it's not like a dog where you're like, oh my God, I love you. And the dog's like, I love you back. The cat's mm -hmm. like, mm, I don't know about you. So they had to like warm up to the cat. And by the time yeah. the cat was okay, they had to go to another cat. The cat's looking at you going, fuck you. I'm just doing this for a sad card. <laughs> <laughs> Keep exactly. that kibble. Um, but yeah, so the cat, yeah, he is pretty stiff mechanically. <laughs> you can definitely tell that he's fake. But as a kid, I guess, not really. And at that, but, that time, like, I mean... CGI wasn't that right. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it wasn't, wasn't as good prominent. as where we're at now. So, but, I, uh, I I do wish that they hadn't given Bette Midler the teeth, the buck teeth. Yeah, yeah. that's the one thing about this that it's like I I, I just I don't like them. I don't I, know. You yeah. have to. I guess there's just that constant. It's it's a witch thing where you're like, oh, you have to give her warts or you have to give her a long crooked nose or something. Yeah. It, you just have to make her uglier. But there she's a pretty lady. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bette Midler. Yeah. Yeah. She's you know? beautiful. Yeah. And you can't really see her being. You know. Kramer you, made a uh, you know a little model out of her in mm -hmm. in pasta. Um, oh my god, he did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then he made one of Jerry out of Fusilli because he's about silly. That. <laughs> Happy Festivus for the rest of us. But the thing, the thing about the three characters, though, the 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 three characters that everyone the remembers, of witches. they're the Stooges. They yeah. are. They're absolutely the three Stooges. Yep. You know, and it's was that intentional? I got. I don't know. Actually, I'd have to look into my notes. I haven't seen any. You guys have about lots that. of notes. Let's hear them. We do. Well, that we was do. one of them. Another one is that you were bringing up the fact that Bette Midler throws a certain expected air of quality into a movie. So. It's given the fact that it's a little, not even rinky dink. It's a Disney movie, so it's it's still a big deal. But yeah, Bette Midler apparently this was her favorite movie that she ever did. Like she's always been kind of wide open. Like if they wanted to do a sequel, she'd be one hundred percent in. Because the movie ends on a question mark, not a typical exact question mark. Yeah. They, well, like they the all, end. they also give um, like a hint to a possible um, sequel when the when the witches lose their brooms. And the yeah, little witches grab yeah. them. Yeah. That's what they're like, uh, you know, Sanderson sisters again. I can see it. But yeah, so now we've jumped to. The Actually, the, all those little girls became the uh, the kids from. Uh, oh, crap. What was that movie? The Craft. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. It's even better. <laughs> yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. This movie is officially now a prequel to The Craft. <laughs> I was going to say Sucker Punch, but. <laughs> either way. Yeah, yeah. I think it works better with The Craft. <laughs> But either way, uh, so yeah, we were. That was what sixteen ninety three, the year that yep. they died. Uh, uh, no, it was sixty. Yeah, something like that. Sixteen hundreds something 60 is when something, the yeah. witches this is were very originally. important. It is uh, sixty three. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sixty three. It doesn't matter. Yes, it anyway, <laughs> so it's three hundred years ago. We've got people. No, ninety three because the movie was made in ninety three and it takes place in nineteen ninety three. They know, specifically say that there are people literally on the mm. edges of their couches right now. I know. Yeah, okay, so out, yeah. yeah, because they mentioned that it's been exactly three hundred years to the day, so it's ninety three, and now we've jumped to the future where they're telling the Sanderson sister story in class, and they. I love how much they punch on this kid Max. He's the new kid in yeah. town. And he's from California, bro. Like, yeah, they will not get off that. It's like, like, they're making fun of him because he's from California. He doesn't even That's look like a surfer. He doesn't yeah, sound like a surfer. He doesn't look like oh. a surfer. But they're like, tubular. Like, they just won't stop saying crappy, cheesy ninja, California stuff. Ninja, ninja, ninja turtle, turtle stuff. Speak, yeah. 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 Like, can we just point out that he gave her his number? Do you know? Do you guys recognize what's missing from the number? An area code? An area code. <laughs> Well, this, this, this was, was a the long time before. Time. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's just, I remember this is dating that movie. Yeah, because we we actually existed before area codes. I remember because uh, I was you and I would have been pretty little when they when they started introducing them. But I remember my mom was like, "Okay, we're adding three numbers to our phone number. You know, and you have to remember those if you're gonna if you're gonna call the house." And it confused the hell out of me when I was a little kid because I was like, "Wait, how can they add numbers to our phone number?" Like it just blew my mind. Where mm -hmm. my parents live. In Louisiana, you still, know. you still don't put the area code. You probably and, don't need them. Yeah, you don't. You, do, you, do you pick you, up the the aluminum can? Yeah, you do. You, yarn. You, you put no. It's the one where you have to. Uh, it's a wind turn up. The crank. Hello, and then, city and desk. And Wanda, the operator, answers, and you tell her what you want. Uh, There's no one here at the fire station. And we're almost up to the best actress or, or actor in the movie. Alice Ice, Thor Birch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny, the the little Thor, sister. Thor Birch is. Probably one of the most talented child actors I've ever seen. Did you guys ever see Patriot Games? No. no. She I saw her in Ghost World. She's a really, really talented actor. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but yeah, I saw her in Ghost World. With, got your boy uh, 
Steve Buscemi, I think, is in that one. Uh, it's a such a weird movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Scarlett Johansson was in it as well. Scar Joe. All right, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, we we were following Max through the town, and he kind of they come down on him in class because he's not superstitious. He he is a little stitious. <laughs> he's for all my office fans out there. Um, so he's riding through the graveyard on the way home from school, and uh, he kind of calls the teacher out for telling a silly ghost story that can't be true, and yeah. then he hits on the hot girl in class. And Allison. Hands her, Allison, yes. Hands her his number. Oh, Allison. Who, who is who is that? I want to talk about that. That is such a weird moment that Absolutely. we're coming up on. Yeah, but but and it's so odd in a Disney movie because she's the Disney character, and as far as I know, the only Disney character whose breasts are specifically discussed in the movie. Her yabos. Her yabos. <laughs> I don't think there's any other Disney character. I mean, you know, like Prince Charming didn't no. go, you know, hey, nice. Check those but, out. Speaking um, of that too, in uh, now and then, she's obsessed with breasts. Like she wants bigger breasts and it's played by the girl who plays well and then uh, later in the movie Sarah Jessica Parker shows off her breasts Uh, very much so whenever she's tilted over singing her song her siren song whenever she's on the broom she's she's yeah I mean very much forward it's, it's very much a, you know, we need to do something to get teenage boys to watch this. What could we do? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever notice that each each sister has like a specialty? Like mm. the one can smell children, the one can lure children, and then the one can do everything else. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, and and uh, the the bullies. Let's talk about the bullies that oh, I, into. <laughs> that I, I I think that the Cub Scouts or the Girl Scouts could just kick the shit out of. Mm-hmm. We need to get Shannon Doherty's uh, a bluebird troop yes. from night shift up yes. in this piece and they to would, beat up those They boys. would beat him with cartons of cigarettes. cigarettes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> if they could take down the fawns, they could take down these two dolts for sure. But yeah, I love it because it's the two bullies. One of them has rebranded himself. His name is Ernie. And uh, his friend is like, Ernie, check this out. And they're making fun of the kid from California. And he's like, dude, we're calling me Ice. It's just Slater. It's a mononym, but he's he's trying to rebrand and it doesn't work. But Max gets his sneakers stolen by the town bullies, and he. Wa- I love this line with the parents because they're so freaking clueless. The, your child walks in in socks and no shoes, and they noticed the mom was like, he wasn't wearing any shoes, and the kids his really new mad. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, his new shoes. Uh, and the dad New is like, cross trainers. well, because they just moved him there. He's mad to be living in Salem. He hates it. He's like, I hate this town. Ugh. And he's being a surly teenager about it. But the dad is like, I guess he's not wearing shoes out of some sort of weird protest. And it's like, what? Yeah. I don't even understand. I can't that believe you moved me from Los Angeles. How am I going to break into stand up comedy now? Ugh. I have the tie dye T-shirt. Uh, this was such a weird moment. So this kid, he goes up to his room and immediately starts like. Yay, Thor Birch. <laughs> yep, there she is. She's hiding in her brother's closet, watching him like mount his pillow and be like, Oh, Allison, you're yeah. so soft. And it's just so weird. And she jumps out and she's like, Oh, Allison, kiss me, kiss me. And it's just, oh, it's so yeah. cringingly awkward. Yeah, it is a little pretty, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Can I just can I just pause though and just say that this movie is so much better than Halloween Town. Yeah, Michelle. I just want to. I just want to say that uh, <laughs> by the time they got to Halloween Town, really big steep drop off in quality. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, that's all I, I. I just wanted to you know put that in there. Kisses, Michelle. Anyway, <laughs> she loves that you pick on her. By the way. <laughs> God damn Halloween Town. <laughs> oh, oh, Debbie Reynolds. Anyhow. Has yeah. it taken the place of a clueless that we make fun of now? Um Oh clueless is is, you know, Henry V to, to, to <laughs> Halloween Town. Clueless is Citizen Kane. Oh, it is it is it is if God made a movie. Okay, Where clueless is, is that <laughs> oh compared God. to Halloween Town. Well, uh she's got she's got a good pick for you on a new potential battle royale coming up oh this I, I would good, love to know movie, so. I, would, I would love to know uh, um we will, it's not the girly art it's just the genuine horribleness <laughs> <laughs> that house always looks so cool i always wanted this kind of house how it has that uh, the stairway up to the like very top little it's very is like that colonial lighthouse? i don't know uh-uh. colonial it's like or? a lot of things their third yeah. floor it's, it's very set somebody built a set and 
There are yeah. stairs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah stairs it's very out. exciting. I wonder about that. But yeah, so, excuse me. Oh, so. Jerry Garcia. No, it's a, and I'm sorry. No, it's a plastic skeleton. Sorry. <laughs> That's so mean. Anywho. Well, he played so, a plastic skeleton in one of his music videos. I so, know. You know. But and, anyhow. Um, so, yeah, we find out that Max uh, is obligated to take his sister, Danny, trick-or-treating on Halloween. And he doesn't want to do it. He hates the town. He's he's all surly and teenage angsty and stuff, and he just doesn't have time for it. But he ends up taking his sister, and he's, he's like, in disguise. He's wearing a ball cap and some sunglasses, I guess, because... Uh, he's he, a little leaguer. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? That's what she, that's what she says, yeah. Oh, right. She's, like, she's being all sassy because he sees the bullies when they're trick-or-treating. He's like, let's go this way and avoid them. And she just runs up and starts talking mad trash to both of them. Yeah, she's basically saying, you know, fuck you, asshole. My brother's here. He'll kick your ass. Which is like, so great. It's like, yeah. don't go up and start talking trash on somebody else's he's really, He's really not that teen angsty. He's more, he, he feels more like a guy who just was at work all day and doesn't feel like doing <laughs> yeah. this, you know? And then it's like, oh, a hot chick. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. Once he spots Allison in the class and then they, That's where he wants to be. Yeah, it's like, yabos. Okay, I'm here. Oh, God. His little sister, she's trying to stand up for him, though, and she just ends up embarrassing the holy hell out of him. They're like, yeah. oh, nice costume, bro. Like, just still running with the California aesthetic. And she's like, excuse me, he's a little leaguer. And she's all serious about <laughs> yeah, it. She's... He kind of flips out on her. He's like, God, you embarrass me in front of the entire school. What's wrong with you? Uh. Which is amazing to think that any human being could be embarrassed in front of these two idiots. Seriously, though. You know. Yeah, but I guess if anybody takes your shoes, I, I was hoping she. Yeah, I was hoping she'd kick one of them in the balls. <laughs> you know, just just haul off. You know, you're a ball height. Just yeah, because I mean, what are they going to do? Are they really going to beat up a, a girl that little? Like she's got the advantage in this situation, in my opinion. I don't know a man with a pork pie hat and an ice <laughs> tattoo or uh, carved into the back of his head. I I don't know. Hey, I don't know. you guys, I love this new hat. It's good. It was going to be my thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is me now. This is me now. <laughs> Oh, right. Katie doesn't watch that show. Never mind. So, hey, I started on Bob's Burgers, okay? Good. That was Bob's Burgers. I'm not there yet. I'm still in season one. Good. You'll okay. get there. Good. She's apprenticing in our Bob's Burgers. Uh, you know, we need to put together, and I think we should do this, we should put together a curriculum for people <laughs> who. It could be a blog post. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I think we, we would disagree. All the on things some that things. we watch. That, yeah. Yeah. But I think we would agree on most of it. I was you know. about to say, we share enough of a brain. and we, we seem to have watched a lot of That's similar things. That's why you need to watch Community. Yeah, we, we, we talked about this and we're going to start it. We've got the Rick and Morty Community Game of Thrones Pact, and we need to incorporate that into the show somehow. we got to figure that out. So anyway, yeah, so now, what's going on now, Katie? Um, we have Danny pouting, and Max is like, oh, I didn't mean it. Let's just, you know. Yeah, I love you. You're my really little. Uh, you're my little sister. Yay! And they have um, a nice little moment, like you do. It's Disney. Yeah, yeah. it's it's got its wholesome moments, yeah. and they notice this weird shadow or something that flies past the moon. Is what he said. Yeah, what is that? I, I think have no it's idea. Just him it's... messing with his sister. Oh, okay. Because oh, then okay. he just like. Ooh. I didn't know if that was supposed to be something. You know. Yeah, because you know, the witches are not the witches. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he hasn't yeah. raised the witches yet, so. They want, and I love this line right here. They roll up to this. This is a big colonial house. And the little sister's like, ugh, rich people. <laughs> <laughs> they probably want so, you to drink cider. Um, yeah, what's what's fancy about apple cider? I, I, only the rich drink apple cider. Don't you know that? Oh, well, I guess yeah, I'm I rich mean, then. because yeah. uh, Or a poser, either way. Would you I like to say, drink money juice? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll say growing no, up. That's the pumpkin um, spice latte. That is. Mm. My uh, my neighbor growing up, her birthday was also on Halloween. So every Halloween, she would have like she's a little a party kind of thing. Oh, she's a really old lady. Her husband was the pastor at the Presbyterian Church. <laughs> and they celebrated Halloween, though. They did. So they were the cool kind of. They were. Absolutely. But she'd always have like, she always have like little goodie bags and she'd always hand out cider too. We always go there first. Mom always made us go there first. Yeah. My wife went to, for very briefly, she went to a a, uh, private school that was a Christian school that absolutely, there was no Halloween. Halloween is the devil's work. I bet they weren't allowed to read Harry Potter at that school and whatnot. Mm. Well, this predates Harry Potter by a pretty far I wasn't going to do that to Elaine, but you know, uh, way to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, but here we go with the mentioning of Yabos. <laughs> yeah, the, the famous <laughs> so, the famous Yabos scene. So they roll up on the rich people house, and it turns out it's Allison's house. What a coinky dink. And she does have a pretty rich person costume. 
Yeah. 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 That's that's a pretty. She's looking a little yeah, Elizabeth Bennett intense, over there. Yeah. What do you call them, Max? Yabos. <laughs> Yeah, my brother loves your yabos. I, I don't call so, them yabos. I call them breasts. In fact, I love he your loves breasts. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about you the other day, Jason, because you brought you brought up this subject matter before on the podcast, and you know those memes of the guy sitting at the table on a campus, and it says something, yeah. s- some sort of opinion changed my mind. <laughs> it's the guy, and he's sitting there with his little mug of coffee or whatever, and he goes, "Your boobs won't impress me. <laughs> Change my mind." <laughs> <laughs> I almost say the thing is, there are probably people out there that would fall for it. Uh, you know that that's, if Girls Gone Wild is a thing, yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah, is it, Girls Gone Wild still a thing? No, the guy who created it uh, ended up in jail. Oh, and, really? What for? Shocking. Uh, I <laughs> probably something I, I, to do I, with no, underage women. No, it may have been. I want to say it was it was a financial thing, like like tax evasion or something like that. I could be wrong, but prostitution. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he ended up in jail, and I think the the Girls Gone Wild empire sort of also the internet happened. Yeah. And, and porn is so easily accessible that it's just, you don't have to buy a tape for. I don't understand how porn makes money. I, I don't, I know that there are literally. It's, it's just so easy to find. There are so many people making porn, but how does it make money? Because, you know, no one pays for it. So. I wouldn't know. I, ah, come on. You. No, seriously. I've never watched porn. Ever. You've never seen a porn? No, never. Great. Okay. All right. So, sorry. Oh, what? Sorry to disappoint, but even a good one. Well, now we're at the Sanderson house. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about <laughs> pornography. <laughs> now Jason is pouting. <laughs> oh, in the same. Okay, yeah. In my notes, I was I was right about the year. The Sanderson sisters died. <laughs> She's going. I'm to going get back you on that year. No, but there's a reason for that, and there's an interesting you bit were of wrong, trivia. Katie. Ah, you okay, were wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Deal with it. But uh, they did die in 1693. But what's funny about that is that they reference margarine. Yeah, I, I caught that. And margarine yeah, wasn't yeah. invented in 1693, so you have to... And they don't, you know... Yeah, they, there weren't a lot of, you know, pioneer people, you know, like, oh, I'm getting a little overweight. Hand me the margarine. Yes, you I know. need to slim down. But uh, they have kind of a blast from the past moment, like Brendan Fraser when he comes out of the fallout shelter, and he's like, I've never seen the sky before. Like, they yeah. don't know what trucks are. They think that the road is like a black river. And Bette Midler pushes Sarah Jessica Parker into the road. Well, they're fairly stupid. Absolutely. No, yeah. I think it is kind of three stooges because it, uh, yeah. Mo was the smart Mo, yeah, one, Mo, and that's Bette Midler. Yeah, Mo. Yeah, Bette Midler is definitely Mo. She's Mo because she's the cranky one who's and like. Catherine is Curly. Yes, um, and then Sarah Jessica Parker, is whose name horse. is Sarah. Yeah. No, the foot horse. <laughs> the, the the other stooge. I can't remember his name. Larry. <laughs> Larry. Why did I say horse? Uh, huh. Oh, well. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, so to impress Allison, Max suggests that they go to the Sanders sisters, Sanderson sisters' oh, house. Oh, we've all been there. Oh, <laughs> How many girls just... did I try to impress by going to a witch museum? And raising people from the dead. Uh, I mean, well, it was like, yeah, it was like every week. That yeah. was mine and Josh's first date. What are you talking about? <laughs> and we've been together forever. <laughs> So it worked. Uh, but yeah, so Max, he's kind of almost daring Allison to go to the house because she's like, no, I shouldn't. I should stay at my parents' party. He's like, no, nah, come on, make a believer out of me because she believes. And she's the one who originally schools him uh, in class earlier in the day. She's like, actually, Halloween is based off of All Hallows' Eve. And she just like body slams him with that information. Yeah, it's like a very quick 10 things I hate about you thing. Just boom. <laughs> you yeah. know, the whole thing just shoved the into one scene. The patriarchal society uh, Hold on, we just missed a part. She's talking about the candle, and she says how a virgin must light the candle. And he's like, all right, let's light this. Uh, you want to do the honors? And she's like, no, thanks. Which you got alludes, yeah, her. Yeah. alludes to, um, is Allison a virgin? Yeah. It's like, well, it wouldn't work if I did it. Yeah. And what's funny about this is that. It's all as just a bunch of hocus pocus. Yeah, that's, hey, the, that's the name of the movie. <gasps> I had that written down for exactly that reason. But yeah, he he goes to light the candle, which and, and Jason, as as an official man over there in the yes, corner, um, I'm certified. I, have, I, I have a man question for you. <laughs> <laughs> I took the test and everything. <laughs> it's like passing the bar, but way easier. Much easier. Um, so with him trying to impress this girl, and hearing that you have to be a virgin to light the candle. I, 
wouldn't that be a little awkward where it, you're like, do be. I want her yeah, to know it, that I'm a virgin and yeah. I, I don't have any experience? Like that, that's why I was like, why is he so well, eager? I, he, like, doesn't be- the candle. he doesn't believe it. And so he doesn't think it's going to work. So it's going to yeah. make him look even less like a virgin because yeah. it's not going to work. I think that, yeah, I agree. I think that okay. was his plan, which is like, well, I'll lie at it. Oh, gee, well, I'm not a virgin, so it didn't do anything. Ha, ha, ha. And oh, then it lo just and, backfired. Lo and behold, it's the, no, dude, you're a virgin meter Well, his little sister Made calls him out on that. fat of a hanged man. Which really? Is, yeah. I didn't notice no, that. Yeah, that's yeah. what they said. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Which is everything is made out of human parts. It's like, dark. Yeah. Yeah. It's a witch's movie. Like if it wasn't. Oh my God! It's Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Carrie, whose name is Sarah. I know. In this yeah. movie, which is great. Uh, but yeah, so the Sanderson sisters, and this is very. That was a very kids movie entrance right there because they don't, there's not like that regeneration, like them crawling into graves or doing anything super creepy. Right. Yeah. They just bust through the door and they're suddenly perfectly revived. Like yeah, they, but it, it it's like, I don't know. It's so messed up. Like the line that got me was uh, earlier with, what was his name? Thack, Thackery? Thackery. Thackery Binks, when, when they yeah. When they catch him and Sarah Jessica Parker says, let me like put him on a hook and let me play with him. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, yeah. just you know, it's one of those things that's like, ha ha, that's funny. And then you think about it. It could go a couple of ways. Like, like it, it could go very Sherlock Holmes. They're all where disturbing. They, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty dark, no matter how you paint it. But later you kind of get a, a better inkling of what she was talking about because she does put, they put those, the two bullies in yeah, the cages. Yeah. And she's just spinning them around yeah, and pissing like, them off. Yeah, she's not, not doing like, anything yeah, insane. It's not a Hannibal Lecter kind of thing playing with them it's just being kind of a bitch to them yeah okay let's establish that and they're just like oh i'm gonna be sick because she won't stop spinning them around in circles but yeah so the sanderson sisters are back and i you have to hand it to max because he comes up with a pretty clever little ruse to help allison ruse ruse Ruse. what did you think i said hello the 1920s (laughs) we like our stupid words back (laughs) and watch out for that hitler he's a bad egg (laughs) Can we have a words and shitty airplane back? That's why we do this show. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Reasons like that. So, yeah, the witches are back, and they immediately find the kids because, uh, what's the other sister's name? Mary. Yeah, Mary is the one with the power of smell. She's like, ooh, I smell a child. Seven? (laughs) I don't have have that power. To me, it is like one. So, yeah, she's like, yeah, oh, I smell a kid. In the valley of the Anosmic, the one-nostrilled man is king. I'm not missing nostrils. (laughs) Well, (laughs) (laughs) he just suddenly became Voldemort over here. (laughs) Uh, I have a snake face. J. Michael Straczynski would totally get that. Probably. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so Mary, the witch with the extra superpower of smell. The stupid one. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. They're all stupid. Uh, I don't know. I think she's smarter. The Sarah's the stupid, stupid one. She, yeah, because yeah, Sarah's yeah. the dumb blonde with, who's always hitting on any dude she passes. Uh, yeah. Mary's the one who's kind of the meek, like, oh, sorry, Winifred. Sorry, Winifred. Like, always seeking to please her sister and never accomplishing that. But she's like, oh, I smell a little... A, child a little girl must be seven or no maybe eight or eight and a half and it's like how are you getting that from smell i just bet bet midler is the only one that has the force lightning thing right Mm -hmm. yeah yeah she's uh yeah she's the emperor yeah from star wars i'd watch that (laughs) that'd be pretty cool if that that was on the rise of skywalker you know (laughs) If they showed up and it was Bette Midler from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Shooting lightning out of her fingers. I, I would totally. That, it's, hey, it's Disney. Yeah. Oh, my God. We can cross the universe. That's where it's over. coming. Yeah. Hocus Pocus is in the Star Wars universe. Oh, my God. There. I'm so excited about yeah. this. You don't even know. What just happened? <laughs> if you were paying attention, paying you would attention know. I'm paying attention to the movie. <laughs> Bette Midler's going to take on the Emperor in Rise of Skywalker. You heard it here first. Yes. So, anyhow... I would the, like to point out, unlike a lot of the movies, aka Highlander, that I just watched, um, the women actually stepped in and helped save the man. So Allison attacks them with the broom, and Danny comes in and attacks them with the candy. No, because well, well, no, in, in, Highlander, in Highlander, I made she, a specific yeah, point about that. You did. You she did. conked him on the head. Yeah. yeah. And then almost died. So there you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> she was, I Heather, would, look, Heather. I, okay, we're going to fight against yeah, Heather. I, I will put it to you this way. <laughs> if I saw my man it's being the attacked by death. the Kurgan... I'd probably just let him die because <laughs> I'm not fighting the Kurgan. Because you've known him for all of what, like three days? With the Kurgan, I'm not even. 
Oh, wait, what? She only, she only <laughs> knew him for like three days. But he was. That's every action movie but ever, But he was though. Christopher Lambert, though. I mean, it's He's Tarzan. Lam- it's Tarzan. Yeah. You know? All right, but so if the cat's I, talking now. I wouldn't save Josh from the Kurgan just because I'm afraid of being licked. He, like, sticks his tongue out at everything. Oh, God, The Kurgan. Yeah. He's yeah. so creepy. But, yeah, so I've got to give it to Max right here because he comes up with a very clever ruse. Getting back to that. Uh, and he he realizes pretty quickly, oh, these witches died in the 1600s. They won't know what a lighter is. They won't. Oh, and here's my question. Why are there sprinklers in a rundown old cottage know. from 1693? They've installed them. Nobody lives and there, there though. Lights. Why would there they was light. Them? Well, no, it's it's a it, uh, fire safety. Like, and there's still, there's still are going the power in is still on. Somebody's paying the utility bill. Yeah. See, and how, that's like, the there's, sequel I want. There's all yeah. these cobwebs. <laughs> there's all these cobwebs on over everything, except for the candle. And she's talking about how her mom used to work there. Like, what is the a what is the dates here? Like, was it like a two years ago? Was it like twenty yeah. years ago? Here, okay, here's the crossover. Ernest. Uh that's yeah, the house that yeah. um Oh, what's her name? Isma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name, but or Eartha Kit. Eartha Kit yeah, is Eartha living Kit. in the Sanderson sisters' house. But what are you three doing? Yeah. But she and Ernest are busy right now, fighting yeah. the troll or whatever that's running through the woods. So now the witches have taken residence. Yeah, but I again. think if Ernest met Sarah, he would probably just call her a moron. You know? Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty. Be- she's pretty dumb. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny you don't really see or or hear rather Sarah Jessica Parker she doesn't change her voice a lot in the projects that she's in but in this movie she kind of does she gives herself a almost raspy quality yeah but she is running around like a little ditch except just when like, she sings she sings very nicely true is that really nicely. her singing yes it, it yeah yes yeah, it's her, it describes right? her how she sings yes okay okay yeah. I had no idea so here, another question uh why if she can lure children with the power, like a siren song. <laughs> why go through all this? Yeah, why go through all this? They're physically chasing <laughs> the kids there around. Because be a movie. And I <laughs> guess it's because they... they. Uh, Whoa, look at those jobs. Well, because they can lower them, but they don't have the potion yet, and they need the book to make the potion. Because oh, all they're going to okay. do is just have a bunch of kids, and now they're just babysitting. But then why are they chasing these kids? Because they got the book. Yeah, they want the book. Oh, to get okay. the recipe. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. the recipe. Yeah, just watch Good Eats. Or whatever. <laughs> The Great British Bake Off, yeah, the, the Witch Bank. Edition. Hey, we're making a um, potion that steals youth. Oh, and you have James Marsden, the voice of the cat, mm-hmm. of because uh, he just goes by Binks when he's Binks. a cat, I guess, yeah. because mm-hmm. that's a, a more cat-like name. It's kind of racist, isn't it? Thackeray. Oh, I'm Binks now? Okay, uh, yeah, because it sounds more like a black cat. Okay. No, Binks <laughs> was his last name in life. Why got to be a black cat? Because <laughs> it's Cause Halloween. It's a witch's movie. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You ask racist. dumb questions, you get dumb answers. <laughs> yeah, um, so the witches are, you find, it is it is very Highlander in the sense yeah, that yeah. the witches can't enter is hallowed it? ground. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yes, I was going yes. somewhere with that. <laughs> it's essentially the same movie as Highlander. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The, hey, they want to be immortal. Yeah. They're gunning for the prize, okay? So, yeah, Highlander and Hocus Pocus, same movie. But the kids... Uh, follow the cat who they discover can t- well Max discovers and that they're the cat very can talk. they're very comfortable with the fact that the cat can talk that oh, doesn't yeah. that doesn't shatter anything in their world there are two yeah. moments like that well Max is the only one who reacts because he the cat helps him escape with the book and get them out of the clutches of the Sanderson sisters but he comes up with uh, that clever little scheme to he gets a lighter and he's like I will make the what does he call it the fire water or something like the rain of the death. rain of the yeah. death. rain of death no, fire, fire water fire water say scary Indians away oh. it is I thought that was how you yep. s- there we go Never mind. she's dumb again it's like we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're she has her mind well she's gotta she's gotta have the brain power for three people so I guess it just skips every now and then but yeah so the cat lands on Max and he's like way to go Max. Way to bring these witches back yeah. from the dead. And he's like, you can talk. And he goes, Where's Sabrina? Yeah. Sabrina wouldn't have done this shit. Yeah, but she's a witch. So and he, it, it, you got to wonder if it's the same cat then because did he suddenly like witches? Crossover. <laughs> Maybe it's a crossover. How many crossovers are we doing with this movie? Hey, you know what this movie needs? All of them. Batman. No, 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 no. He would make, it would just be like nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Okay, so I want to pause uh, for just a second to, this is some very important news because we have, uh, hopefully coming up in two days, we're going to be doing a show with a, uh, a guest host, uh, who is going with me tomorrow to see the who, (laughs) 
the next episode of this, I will be a person who has seen the who live. And that's a very important distinction. Okay. And we're going to have a full report on that. I'm going to put pictures on Instagram and, and the whole nine yards. So who, what guest is going with you or did I misunderstand that? The, um, the guest who's going to be doing the Amityville, Amityville horror Amityville. with us. I had no idea we had a guest for Amityville Horror. Yeah, I told you that. I told you my, my neighbor friend who is a doctor. Oh, my God. Okay. Yep, you're right. Yep. I didn't write it down, so I forgot it. Are That's you going to try to correct me like you did with the year? Yeah. And, you know, in like 1693. Really... No, I honestly just forgot. I, God, I apologize. you so wrong, Katie. So wrong. I mean. I'm ashamed. Uh, I mean, you should, you should be. be. Yeah, awful. Ugh. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, on Instagram, uh, I'm going to put, uh, loads of pictures up there awesome. with, uh, I'm, you I'm know. sure hindsight is horrifying. We'll like them on Instagram. Yes. I, 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 <laughs> I, I will like them. I on hope Instagram. so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, the only problem is I, I do fear that, uh, when we do the Amityville horror, the guest host and I will be deaf because of course the who is known as the loudest rock band in history mm -hmm. and we're sitting very close to the stage that's going to be a so, blast yeah it's going to be I'm awesome i'm jealous yeah so uh yeah uh, i just wanted to to drop that little bit of news in there uh, awesome anybody else have any news uh Nothing no, crazy. No, they Just, don't. <laughs> okay. We don't lead exciting lives like you, Jason. <laughs> well, I get to go to Disneyland next week. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Because everyone and their freaking mother is going to Galaxy's Edge before I do. It's you, just not fair. You, oh, so you know that uh, the virtual reality, like Star Wars experience? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, yeah. No, they have it at the battery now. Oh, really? Really? It's, it is. Let me tell you. It is so absolutely I've, worth it. I've heard it's really good. It's yeah. like $46 for a ticket, though. Um, at the one at the battery, I think that's about how much it was for the one there. But let me tell you, it's, we're talking about, there, there's a virtual reality company and I can't remember the name of it. Um, but they do different types of VR experiences where you mm -hmm. go into an entire, uh, facility where they have different rooms you go in, but you're wearing the VR goggles. The coolest thing about the whole thing is there's a part where there's like VR droids mm -hmm. and they actually have a prop droid. And you see it in VR, so when you reach out, you can actually touch the VR object and actually put oh, your hand on the man. droid. I'm going to trip over it. It's so awesome. I'm going to ruin awesome. everything. Yeah, that's, I'm going to fall. Trippy. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing. Okay, so in that case, back to the movie. Uh, yeah, and I, I read some interesting facts that were just not, not even necessarily about the story, but apparently the movie, like we said, takes place in 1993. Halloween on that particular year was on a Sunday, and there was no full moon like there is in the movie. And that's because there hadn't been a full moon on Halloween since 1974, and the next Halloween full moon will appear in 2020. Ooh. So Neil deGrasse Tyson, get excited. I normally get all my space info from him on Twitter. So Has he, has he already come to Atlanta? Did we miss that? I think he's coming in October. In October. So we, when this yeah, episode, we, still, we'll yeah. 20, yeah, we need 20, to look. No, <laughs> yeah. not 2020. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think we've missed it. No, Ooh, we need to do that. Tyson. DeCrest Tyson, son. Yeah, we need to look into that. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. So <laughs> she goes, oh, mice, yuck. Oh, the, the zombie coming after you. That wasn't a yuck. <laughs> yeah, the, well, it's really funny. It's like you said, Jason, they don't, the kids don't really skip a beat when they find out that the cat can talk. And there are two moments like that in this movie because in Max is the one who sort of introduces the concept at both times because they're like, oh my God, that cat is talking. And he's like, oh, it's cool. He can talk. Yeah. And then that's it. And then yeah. they gloss over it. And then yeah, later- we're fine with that. We've made peace with it. Because uh, what was the zombie's name? Billy? Billy the Butcher. I, okay. I, I just see Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, I just yeah, see Sideshow yeah. Bob as a yeah. zombie. That's or, or all Side I Show see. Bob, yeah. Um, but the story behind Billy is that he died because uh, he fooled around with Sarah, the stupid sister, when he was Winnie's boyfriend. Well, uh, yeah, obviously. And so she poisoned him, <laughs> killed him, yeah. and uh, sewed his mouth shut so he couldn't tell her secrets even in yeah, death. Yeah, and apparently he's been waiting hundreds of years to get his hand on a pocket knife. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yes. Well, he's been dead for 300 years, so... It, yeah, it's not yeah. like he could do anything about it, uh, but his mouth is sewn shut. And later you kind of see it leads up to it a little bit. The foreshadowing is she's like, go get the children because he can walk around in the graveyard, but yeah. she can't. So she's trying to get him to do her bidding. And he keeps waving at her like, damn it, I thought I died and got away from you. And he's just and she's nagging at him and screaming at him and stuff. But yeah, he finally cuts the uh, cuts the bond, the binding thread, off, thread whatever the. <laughs> yeah. 
the whatever. He cuts it out of his mouth, and I was that freaked. It takes me. takes the gauze out too. That was that the thread didn't b- bother me, but when he started pulling the gauze out, that no. was that was what actually got me. Anything <laughs> like that, like that's why um I whenever I see like a sharp object near somebody's face in a movie, it makes my face go numb because of what happened to me when I was in high school when I ripped my mouth open playing soccer. Uh, so like the Joker, when Heath Ledger puts that razor in that guy's mouth in the dark night. Oh, yeah. That actually happened to our, uh, to my co-host. It makes me cringe. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like that, but this, this guy stuck the pocket knife in his own mouth to cut the thread. And I was just like, Oh God, I can't stand that. But other than that, I, I you know, this movie didn't make me cringe too much. So, uh, I know I move think, on after yeah, that. Yeah. It's, oh, good here luck. We go. We go from that. Here's the bus. And let's yeah, see, what a, does yeah, the bus driver yeah, say? A, it, no, we're there, about to find out. Yeah, yeah, bubble, weird, bubble, yeah, I'm in right. trouble. Yeah. So yeah. It, I guess, it, but that's not we, well, the Well, right let's w- explain to the audience what we just saw. Wait, which hold is, on, we're going to miss Yes. It. Yeah, well, the, the... Give us some context. Yeah, the, the, the trio of witches have just uh, approached a bus, which they don't know what it is, and a bus driver who is very... Very, very committed to the role of playing mm-hmm. a bus driver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A um, uh, Randy he, bus well, driver. <laughs> here he goes. We desire children. Oh, you want to go might, to the Epstein Might house? take me a couple Come of on. tries, but I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I did not get yeah, until as a I watched kid, this absolutely again. Absolutely not. Because especially with all three of them, it's just like, okay. Yeah. And then he ends up with Sarah Jessica Parker on his lap. And, Shocker. And uh, so the whole... To yeah, to give that context, so the sisters are chasing after the book to get the recipe, as Jason called it, for their potion. So that well, what they would can... you call it? The formula? Uh, I mean, <laughs> ingredients. I don't know. Uh, the spell. It's, yeah, it's a spell, isn't it? Because they're witches. Well, the spell's the word you say, but you need the recipe to go along with it. I guess so. Yeah. Um, the things you learn on this podcast, fascinating. But uh, anyway, so the witches. They that just, would be very awkward doing a scene with Sarah Jessica Parker or she's just on sitting lap. on your lap. I mean, yeah. Because look, as a guy, there's one thing you're going to be very much afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah. You got to wonder if they'd put some padding between yeah. them or something. I, I, so I, just in case. Yeah. Uh, why are you putting a, uh, an issue of time magazine down your pants? Because mm-hmm. the, otherwise you're going to feel something very different. Yeah. And it's 1993. You can still buy those. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But so the witches, uh, it gets established that the witches will turn to dust if they don't turn immortal on the night of Halloween. So is it established that one of them will turn into a statue? No, I, no. I didn't like that, that either. Okay. Cause I went, I, I didn't remember. That's cause the hollowed ground. She was on, she, yeah, fell, she didn't fall to the hollow ground. ground. Cause the other sisters oh, just like, it's like beam okay. of light, beam of light explode into glitter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They exploded okay. into dust and glitter. Yeah. Uh, actually they exploded into that substance that they throw into the fire on. Are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's what it was. What was but, it cornstarch? Uh, it was uh, non-dairy creamer. Non-dairy creamer. Yes. That's what it is. They all turn. That's what witches are made of. Non-dairy actually, creamer. Is not, they're made of non-dairy creamer. That's why when they die, they, it's, that's what it's Satan a makes of flame them and up. dust. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of Satan, um, Satan makes an appearance in this movie. Yeah, um, he does. The yeah, great. In the form of Gary Marshall. Yeah. yeah. The, the director, R.I.P. Who has, uh, wait, the director of of the movie? He's a director. No, no, but not because, the director of the movie. Because no. by the way, the director of the movie, and I can't remember his name, but I, I, I encourage everyone to go on IMDb because I've said this before about somebody having the creepiest yes. pictures on IMDb. No, the director of this movie. Uh, you were talking about Gil Younger from who directed yeah. 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes. Yeah. No. And I'll Do- put that picture in the show yeah. notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, this director has the creepiest pictures that I've ever seen on IMDb. What's his name? Uh, it is... Um, Paging Dr. Gugel. Uh, Dr. Gugel. Um, Cricket Kenny sounds. Ortega. Yeah, obviously it's oh, Kenny, Kenny Ortega. Oh, Kenny Ortega? Yes, obviously. I didn't realize he was the director of this movie. I didn't yes. notice that. But yeah, so Gary Marshall. <laughs> who what, what, Was he, was Kenny Ortega, was he a male stripper at some point? I don't know, but he looks like... No, that's not the one. But that's still really funny. That no, picture, no. you're going to have to send me he's, that. He's, to he's put the it... director from High School Musical. Oh, yes. is it this one? That's the one. And there's a series that's of those. That's what we need to put on no, the beanbag No, there's a chair. series of those. There's more than just that. <laughs> yep. It's, yeah, he's got like, look at all the different pictures of me looking all sexy and cheeky. He looks like he would date Ray Bio. Like, yes. It's just so good. He looks like he would date... Yeah, he looks like he would date rape any... 
anyone. Thing. <laughs> yeah. He you looks know? like he took the date rape drugs himself. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, and speaking of... Don't the- leave a bagel with him. Oh, it geez. will be date raped. <laughs> so we're at the part with the police officer. Well, it, 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 speaking of creepy guys... The because- guy who's very committed to his Halloween costume as a cop. <laughs> yeah. Um, the kids run up to him because they're trying to you know, bring an adult's attention to the fact that they just raised three witches from the dead. And he thinks that they're yanking his chain. And he, like you said, he commits to being a cop and doesn't tell he them. He bought the motorcycle. Yep. He's, he's all about that. <laughs> you, know? He, you know, he flunked out of police academy. You know, he did. He's the, he's the kind of guy that goes to a garage and buys an old sheriff's badge and wants everybody to call him Sarge. Like yeah. it's, it's <laughs> okay. So I have, I have a serious question. I have but, a, but hang on okay, though. Okay, Cause right. going with the Kenny Ortega, creepy adult thing is that, uh, the sister of, course has got to embarrass the brother at every turn and she tells this grown-ass man that her big brother is a virgin yeah which is so yeah. weird yeah. and he's like hang on and he pulls max aside <laughs> and he's like are you really a virgin and i was like oh god like why why would you why would you oh god. <laughs> is his girl he, or is he, 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 turn, he turns into the kurgan very briefly <laughs> <laughs> his tongue just starts wagging out of his I'm head i'm out of here uh oh. I have a, I, all the fingers. Okay, so I have a serious question. Okay, if you, if let's say that the two of you were in this exact scenario, okay, how would you actually get an adult to pay attention to you? What would you do? Because you know, and, and seriously, you couldn't just go up to a cop and go, "Hi, I'm a virgin." Wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> well, and plus, in the scenario that you're kicking to us right now, this would be girls walking up to a grown ass man and saying, "Hi, I'm a virgin." That. <laughs> I, I already think there's a whole slew of problems with that scenario. No, Mr. Epstein, I think, you get, I think you get arrested yeah. for soliciting. No, yeah. Mr. Epstein, no. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, and this woman right here, that's actually Gary Marshall's sister. Yes. Oh, when they're playing, oh, his wife. His wife, yeah. Yeah, that's It's funny. Penny Marshall, right? Isn't it? From, mm. um... Laverne uh, and Shirley. From Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um, but... Here we go. Yeah, this we is got where, the uh... Yeah, yeah, this is where the craft... There's the Mary. Uh, there's the Mary the and the then craft. the little Sarah. Yeah, the, the girls steal They steal the, the brooms. Yeah. What, because uh, to give more context is the witches go into this guy's house because he's dressed like Satan. And they're like, master, master. master and they get all excited. Where are the dreams that I've been after, master? <laughs> no Metallica fans? Neither one of you? Oh, for God's sake. No, sorry. Master Dance of Puppets, I'm me. pulling your strings. Yeah, Sarah <laughs> Jessica Parker hits on everything she that moves really in this movie. W- yeah, she needs to get laid. I don't understand that sign. A rotten dog lives here. What's well, a, a? I don't get it either. It's just, <laughs> I was about to say, it's it. just it like make sense. anybody like, having like the you know my grand dog or something like that. Yeah. It's just it's oh, just, okay. it's my, just my, something my, dumb. Yeah, like my, spoiled my rotten, have, I guess. Yeah, my parents have a, a sign that says a spoiled rotten, uh, whatever their dog is lives oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Shih Tzu. Oh. Yeah. In case, you know, you didn't notice the dog yeah. running around their house, there's a sign yeah. for your own edification. Yeah. So that's good. What, what, has it ever been a thing for women of any age to put those candy worms in your hair? Is that... <laughs> those are curlers. I, I, I <laughs> They're old-fashioned curlers. Are they? I've, yes. never, I, I've yeah. never seen curlers so that look like they that. They go in like this big envelope and they heat up. And then you take them out and you curl it and you twist you can, it. It's sort of like steam curling ta-da. your hair. You heat curl oh. your hair. And that way you don't have to use those really old fashioned plastic ones that rip your hair out of your scalp. Or it's not metal where it's going to burn your hair. Oh. Yeah. But they are so. very old fashioned because nobody uses those. Anymore. Oh, yeah. They're, people use flat irons now. So get with the times, Penny Marshall. Jeez. But yeah, you have their little uh, Toto dog screaming at the witches. Mm-hmm. Penny Marshall gets sick of them hitting on her husband and she kicks them out of the house. Yeah, the witches don't really care that their rooms were stolen. Like, they don't really... I know they've got a clock. No, they care, in. but like they, it's the chocolate covered finger of a guy named Clark. It's a Clark bar. <laughs> it's a Clark bar. <laughs> I don't think I ever picked up on that. They have you. some good gems in this. Thank you, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Captain. But it's funny because uh, they were walking down the street and they're trying to find children and the one who can smell really well and suss the children out, she's like... I can I can smell children, oh, but the kids are confusing them because they're in costumes. They're like they're hobgoblins. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part. No, she's seriously Sarah Jessica Parker's like a little five year old in this movie. She's like a muck, a muck, a muck. She was my favorite character. I thought she was awesome. Well, she's, yeah. she's mine too, for different reasons. I can't I'm imagine just why. Saying, I mean, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you liked um, what's her face, Bette Midler. 
I no. love that. Well, oh, no, no. I no. love that. No. No. Oh, yeah, you mean Catherine? Yes. You're changing her name altogether. Sorry, it's actually Megan. Holly. It's Holly. Um, so seriously, Eddie, when are you going to appear on the show? We love you so well, much. And, uh, the, the scene with the, uh, with the band, uh, the big music scene, which is really kind the, of the shoehorn music scene it, where a song just look, you got Bette Midler had to happen. Look, no, that's what yeah, I'm saying yeah, because I, it's Bette Midler. She's yeah, got to sing. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you would think that they would make her the witch with the power of song. Uh, but <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, it does actually not make any sense. No, well, it she, doesn't. Yeah, she can't. Been, yeah, she can't sing and do the spell. And I mean, you got to give Sarah Jessica Parker and the fact that she's into like so lovey dovey, like the siren, like that kind of yeah, plays into that. Yeah. That's true. Because uh, yeah, even if she was singing uh, with those big buck teeth, I'm not getting lured in by and, Batman. And, and mom, the mom is the yeah, Madonna. Mom Donna. Yeah, that's, mom uh, Donna. <laughs> that's. I like uh, it. I mean, again, breasts feature pretty prominently in this they movie. Do. More yeah. Yabos. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, this is actually, I think for our younger viewers, they're not going to remember the Madonna <laughs> pointy <laughs> bra. It, well, it made me know. flash back to an old episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Because uh, they, they were doing the prop game where I'm the sorry. guys... The mom is a pretty lady, but uh, they're doing the props game and Ryan Stiles took these two traffic cones and put them on the floor and he pulled Colin Mockery out with him. And uh, so it, you have to like, it's a flash in the pan where they get uh, a prop and make a scene out of it with like two lines. Mm-hmm. So he puts the cones on the ground and he's standing all somber looking at the ground. And he goes, here lies Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the mom's costume made me think about. Yeah. And you just, you have these moments where the witches. Like, like we said, they're 300 years old and they've, they're have they not used to the modern world, but they get used to it in about 30 seconds. Because when yeah. the kids go to tell their parents at the grown-up party where they're all getting down and dancing and stuff, and the, Max is like, you don't understand, the witches, they're here. And, you know, none of the grown-ups are believing them. But these, of course, are the very unconcerned parents who could not be, you know, less concerned about the fact that their kid isn't wearing shoes. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, but, and... I actually think in this scene, one of the creepiest things in the movie is the fact that the witches curse all of the adults to dance until they die. Mm-hmm. That is genuinely it's pretty harsh. <laughs> like if you if you sort of visualize that playing out to the end, these sneakers it, would have made him the fastest runner on the planet, but he would have had to run yeah. till he died. <laughs> but like seriously, like the end game of that curse is kind of horrifying. Of like people on the edge of death. I think you mean thriller. They, Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's yes. already been done. Yes. All the crossovers. But yeah, so Max gets up on stage and like a smooth criminal to keep up with the mm-hmm. Michael Jackson mm-hmm. aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bette Midler, mm-hmm. he's announcing to the entire room, the witches, they're here. They're here to kill us. The, the witches, Sanderson's. sir, they're here. <laughs> My God, man. Do they want tea? No, they want to brew a potion. But yeah, so Bette Midler is very smooth in the sense that Max <laughs> uncover. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, <laughs> go on. No. <laughs> so we've got a musical number coming up. Um, yeah. <laughs> because we have Bed Midler in a movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but she does sort of take over the scenario and she's like, oh, yeah, thanks for that marvelous introduction. And then, you know, all the parents are laughing at the kids because, oh, it's just a lady in a costume. It's not a real witch. You know what I always notice in, in kids movies about Halloween? Mm-hmm. It's that the adults in uh, all of these movies, they they are so much better at their costumes than any adult I ever knew growing up. Yeah. Because they have really, really awesome costumes. And when I I was a kid, adults had pretty crappy, horrible costumes. Is it just me, Jason, or is the costuming so much better in this movie than it is in Halloween Town? Oh, I would say that (laughs) every conceivable detail, every frame of this movie is so much better than Halloween Town. (laughs) Sorry, Michelle, I had to take that swipe. Yeah. It was right there in front of me. Oh, and you were correct, Jason. I'm going to go ahead and... um, you know, bonk myself in the head because her name is Kathy. Who's, who's a a it's movie. not Holly. So good job. Yeah, uh, you movie. nailed it. And I found out in my um, Darth Jader research that apparently Leo DiCaprio 
might have been in this movie. Yes. Said the role of Max was originally offered to him, but he turned it down to uh, play Arnie in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. He made the right choice. Yeah, I think he certainly (laughs) made the right choice. I have no idea what happened to Max. No idea Oh, he's a hairdresser now. Yeah, he retired. Yeah, yeah, good for him. He I was, have a, I have notes on where they I, are now. I'm oh, cur- I'm actually very curious about that. Let let let's hear some more of that. Some more of that. Okay, hold because on. he oh, was please. he was like a child actor. He was on Dallas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was in the, yeah yeah. So okay, well, Bette Midler. We don't need to talk about that because yes. you know. everybody knows everything. But you know, about in the scene that we just saw with the, I put a spell on you. She says, "Hello, my name is Winifred. What's yours?" That's a famous line from a gypsy. So that's a throwback to that. Okay. Sarah Jessica Parker, we know who she is, yada, yada, yada. Well, she apparently um, is related to a woman famously accused. Of yes. Being yes. Witch. Yeah. That was yeah. in my notes. No. Not, that, not please, convicted, though. No. And this movie was originally a bedtime she story. She was acquitted. She was acquitted. Did you know that? What? That's funny. What was it called? Um, it was supposed to be, it was originally a bedtime story. Really? Yeah. It started out that way. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And then it was mu- published in Muppet Magazine. Really? Yeah. It's not a thing anymore. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Omri Katz, I think is his name. Maximilian Max Dennison is what he, who he plays. Um, since appearing in his beloved Halloween film, he took a step back from Hollywood. He returned to his Dallas roots in 1996 in the movie Dallas. Who shot JR? Re- JR returns. <laughs> um, small parts in Freaks and Geeks, Journey into the Night, and General Hospital. But he's, um, yeah, he just now works as a hairdresser in yeah, Los Angeles. He's, he's, he's out of he the looks game. looks kind of the same and kind of creepy. Yeah, I came with he, pictures. He, I don't know. I don't think yeah. he started out all that good looking. I thought he was attractive. Eh. He's, you know, I mean, I, he looked better than I did in high school. Okay. Which, to be is fair, that really to be anything? fair, is not saying <laughs> much. And uh, I found out too, Thora Birch. Sloth from the Goonies. Also, I could say the same thing. You guys. <laughs> I'm just, that Baby just makes me sad. Stop showing off. Do the truffle <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> Do it. Uh, but apparently, I didn't realize this. Thora Birch. Uh, revisited the neighborhood in American Beauty. Really? Yeah, it says while the kids were prematurely celebrating victory against the Sanderson sisters after locking them in that kiln, they're shown talking in front of a house as they walk to a park, and the house was used uh, in American Beauty. Oh, so that, that that's really cool. Yeah, well, she, cool. Thora Birch, I mean, she's, um, the first time I ever saw her was in uh, Patriot Games. Okay, and I've not seen that. It's it's a really really underrated movie. Okay, um, it's a very very good movie. But see, with you, that can incorporate so many things because well, you love to play that Russian roulette game of what other people watched on Amazon Prime. Yeah, and God but, knows the rabbit hole you can go down. Yeah, with that but game. this was based on a Tom Clancy book, and Harrison Ford was in it. So I mean, it's more of a mainline you know movie. Mm-hmm. But Thor Birch played the little girl in that, and there was some pretty serious crap. That, that she had to do. Um, you know, she almost got killed. She was attacked by terrorists and a whole bunch of other stuff. But And okay. she's, she's just genuinely a very talented actress. Um, when What about Catherine? Um, well, I mean, she's been in, she was in something called Veronica's Closet. It was starred, um, oh, what's that big actress? Kath, though. Kirstie Alley, Kirstie oh. Alley. Oh, that big actress? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very that, rude. Yeah. And then the guy who plays Billy the Butcher, he was also in, um, he played. <laughs> Yay, I'm not the only one who got busted with a sound machine effect today. You know what? See, I'm actually excited that happened. Um, but Billy the <laughs> Butcher, uh, he was the du- the creature from uh, Shape of Water. Really? Yeah. True story. I didn't see um, that. It either. seems like in all the movies, he's not actually like himself. Yeah, he he's like, he, he's doesn't not, he doesn't look like himself. He's. He was in, um, he's a thin clown in Batman Returns. Um, and he played. That's a, what I know him from when they have all that neon makeup on yeah. them. Yep. He's oh also my God, that was in bugging me. Pan's Labyrinth, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, and Hellboy. Okay. The first so, one? Yeah. So yeah. he's got some pretty heavy makeup effects going on well, it, in yeah. most of his. You roles. know, and it, it, it's funny because you almost want to say, like, ah, you know, like that's silly he's never gets to be himself mm-hmm. how many of us know quote unquote actors and actresses who are never in anything ever he has a career well that's <laughs> what we were debating I mean, about yeah. on battle royale when i said that um david Cromaltz was one of the most accomplished actors and katie was like are you serious i said yeah he's like a really he's a working actor yeah just because he's not in huge projects doesn't mean he's not in stuff and that's what uh billy the um sideshow zombie sideshow bomb <laughs> sideshow, S- S- sideshow um 
Edward Scissorhands, Bob. <laughs> yeah. He's a lot of different things. And I'm surprised we made it this far before talking about the fact that the voice of the cat is not the same voice as the nope. person who yeah. voiced yeah. the cat. Uh, that so is, that was an interesting from, decision. He yeah. was a kid from, um, he was Eric's friend on Boy Meets World, his short friend with the dark hair. Oh. oh that's who that oh, is. okay. Because yes. I heard him and oh. I was like, why does that sound so familiar? Dated Dana in Step by uh, Step by Step. I don't remember. Step by he, step, he was. Yeah. He was. Oh okay. wait, yeah. JT's friend in Step by Step. Yeah. There you go. That's in my notes. <laughs> it's right in front of you. And he was Max in the Goofy movie. Oh my yes. God, he was yeah. Max. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then he also. Oh, he, I love. He, I loved the Goofy movie. That was oh my God, we gotta do I that one. It. Yeah. It's so many the good Tower jokes. Of Jesus. Oh my God, Polly Shore. That's like the one good role for Polly Shore is that. No, he he guest starred on one episode of Futurama, and that was the only was that other. Pretty good that too? was the only other because he basically he played Pauly Shore. Because remember, we were trying to trace something back on Polly, not Polly Shore, but uh, Ferris Bueller's mom. Because you and I were like, we know we've seen her, and she's also the mom and son-in-law with Pauly Shore. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. It all see, listeners, it all ties together. All of these movies take place in a. That's what nobody <laughs> knows. All, all the movies that we do in the show are actually in the same cinematic universe. Yes, yeah. it was the sequel to Breaking Bad. We yes. we established that on Anna well, Darby's episode. It, it was actually a sequel to Death Race Two Thousand. <laughs> it was the yeah. Oh, it was a prequel. It, no, Death it was the down. prequel to Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, because uh, of the funny. pharmacist. So she says, "Hello, I want my book." That's why I keep saying in French, but she actually really does want her book. Yes, and I guess the magic protects them. Oh, from also the, the voice of the the library announcement. Did mm-hmm. that sound like the original Siri voice to anybody else? I don't the, know. I've never had it. Siri. I I, I want to look that up because it, whenever she first says something, it sounded like the original Siri voice, which was actually contribute. There was actually a voice actress mm-hmm. who who did that, and I'm very curious if that was the same person. Maybe you people on the internet can do a little bit of the heavy lifting for once and tell us. I'm really surprised you guys didn't make any uh, Monty Python references with the whole witch. Nah, she's a witch. Real Python fans don't make Holy Grail references. Too commercial. I have a Brian. Sorry. I wish there was a sound Run effect away. for you, like crickets. Oh, did I did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a greasy wheel. I know. It's it's like a, the crappiest They're crickets. better than effect. Adam Brown's yeah. crickets when he was trying to do that with his voice. It just sounded like wind being blown over a Coke bottle. I've got some other stuff. What do I have to say? Oh, no. Oh, no, we... that's the same one. <laughs> do the rim shot. <laughs> I've also got the one that whenever I look at Sarah Jessica Parker in this movie. Which up until now you have not been a fan of her, so it's funny no, to watch you. No, she just looks hot in this movie. No, she does. This well, I and mean, Ed they've got Wood. her in a corset, and she's got she's got a nice build. She's it's it. Well, it's the hair. The, something about after this but movie, but it they changes did something. too, though. Like it's curly in one shot, it's straight in another yeah. shot. Well, they filmed it in Florida. That's her other superpower. <laughs> or <it's> still Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it. Um, dead man toes. Dead man toes. Yeah, they're trying to figure out the ingredients Thumb? to the uh, potion recipe, as Jason yeah. is dead well man's to call it. Buns. And uh, they've trapped the two bully kids. And I love how one the bully kid that looks like a surfer is the one that's been making fun of Max for being from California. Yeah, I know. It's so stupid. Yeah, the one who looks like he's from Santa Monica he looks, is making fun of Max. He kind of looks like... Um, no, he looks he like, looks like he, he wants to be um, Nirvana. Uh, yeah. Oh, Kurt Cobain. I, yes, I kept, thank you. It was he's wearing me. the plaid. He, well, it's funny yeah, because he's got this leather grunge. jacket on, but then he's he, it's like he's wearing the plaid in a weird way Like because yeah. we used to tie the plaid shirts around our waist back in the 90s, but he's got it backwards. Like It looks like a kilt on him, yeah, <laughs> the way does, that he's yeah. got it tied. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and he's wearing jeans and like biker boots underneath that. It's yeah, so no, strange. Yeah, no, it's still very grunge. If you watch uh, Captain Marvel, that's like her outfit when she comes back. Oh, I never saw Captain Marvel. I, I enjoyed either. it. Yeah, there's a cat in it. Its name is Goose. <laughs> <Keith. laughs> well, it's the same cat from this movie. Actually. Excuse me, I have to. Orange. I have to go right now. <laughs> it's orange. But yeah, so no, I it actually, explains I actually, uh, Nick I, Fury. It ex- uh, like with the eye. It's really funny. Oh, his brother poked it out, right? His I'm eye not telling in, you. His eye is in the book. We oh, spoil, we spoil <laughs> these <laughs> the movies. We don't spoil book. movies that are no. Because I, I actually, I met. You know, when, when I was at Disneyland, I met Captain Marvel and it was like, oh my, hey, you're Captain Marvel. It's like, I, and I, it was very awkward because I hadn't seen the movie. Mm. So it's like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm totally impressed. There were so many right Captain Marvels at Dragon that Con. I'm meeting you. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Actually, yeah. we just watched uh, Scott Pilgrim the other day. You might see it on your um, Amazon. 
like oh, recently yeah. watched. <laughs> uh, and the reason for that, listeners, is uh, when I was out of town for our other guest Marie's wedding this past weekend, uh, Katie and her love of Q was staying at my house watching my love dogs. Love That sounds like a southern made porn. <laughs> I'll know that. Think about it. Think about <laughs> I it. I am thinking about anyway, it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so that's why uh, her shows are showing up on my Amazon history. I yeah. hope, Hopefully you didn't just break in and do that. Mrs. While I was at Mrs. Work Maisel today. and Scott Pilgrim, that's what we watched. But, you know, um, Brie Larson is in that movie, and I did not realize how many big name people were in there. Chris Evans. Mm-hmm. So we have some more Janie's Avengers. has got a gun. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> uh, that's all... He's not uh, um, Captain America. Captain America. He's uh, no, the, he's, he's, the, he's the guy from, from not, not another, another team, team movie. movie. That's, yeah. He's the guy with a banana up his ass. That's <laughs> all I'll ever think of him as. <laughs> I had successfully shut that out. <laughs> oh, come on, it's hilarious. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it is. He had a banana. He's he got, got a banana cream. up the tailpipe. Yeah, he's got whipped cream and a banana sticking out. Oh, <laughs> it's hilarious. So <laughs> with anyway. her ponytail and her glasses, <laughs> Janie Briggs has a gun. <laughs> Janie Briggs has a gun. <laughs> Everybody get down. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, we've gotten, we've pretty much gotten through the movie uh, and the kids at this point, right? No, I mean, it's just, it's going by really fast. So uh, yeah. the kids have already made their assassination attempt on the witches. They shut them in a kiln <laughs> in their school which, what kind of kiln we'll in get what school tr- yeah, I was has that say, kind of power behind it? Yeah, my God. We didn't have anything like that in my high school. No, we had know? we had a kiln in our art room, but it was just a typical one that, like, <laughs> it stands alone on the floor. It's not like a room where you can incinerate it's, yeah, people. It's not, yeah, it's not yeah. like, yeah. That was like a foundry for, like, the metal shop to make their own iron ingots. That you was, know? The, no, that was the, uh, the, um, the clay... Uh, the arts and crafts room that got walled up in yeah, Bob's Burgers. I, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> So we just passed the part where they they don't have their brooms, so they go through the cleaning closet at the Sanderson Museum, and they find like a typical broom, Mm -hmm, like a modern day mm -hmm. broom, a mop, and then a vacuum vacuum cleaner. cleaner. But she would not know what a vacuum cleaner was, and there's actually arguments on the internet as to why she chose it. Like she just grabbed it. Most people say it's just because it was with the other cleaning supplies, Uh but she's not gonna know what a vacuum cleaner is. That's true. Uh, But it's like I said- And that's very important though later on in the movie. That she picked the vacuum cleaner because yep. it had the cord. And the kids. It's very, it's it's an important plot point later on. Yeah, it, it really sucks. Unlike the year it, that uh, the Sanderson sisters died in 1693. <laughs> you had to get one. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm taking that soundboard away from you. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> God. Oh, I got us a new subscription to a sound effects thing. So next show, we're going to have a whole new slate of sound effects. <gasps> oh, can, we, can we have it by sweet. next week? Yes. I'm looking forward <gasps> yes. to that. Yeah, we'll can have press, all. Can all, I press a button? Yeah, you can press a button. Yeah. <laughs> I want to push the button. <laughs> There's one I never use. I never use this one. Even though well, we've been doing Halloween. That'd be great Halloween. for Halloween movies. It would be. It's sort Missed of mysterious. Yeah, it's like, you know. <laughs> Twilight Zone. Jade isn't here. <laughs> Where is she? That's all you get. Um, <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> so, so special. Uh, so, yeah. You want a round of applause? Ooh, 7-Up. There. Do they still, is 7-Up still a thing? Yeah. Okay, I just don't see it anymore. The Uncola? <laughs> And, and Sugar in the Raw, very big uh, product placement for uh, Sugar yeah. in the Raw there. Yeah. And salt, because God knows salt needed help. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, uh. they discover, in the because what, what's happening is the kids are trying to figure out how to help Binks become a person again, or like uh, just undo the spell where they turn him into a cat. Uh, and so the kids are messing around with the witch's book, which... Katie <laughs> seems to pick a lot of movies, idea. you guys, where uh, people get in trouble for reading books. Mm-hmm. Like The Mummy. Mm-hmm. See, she's a bibliophobe. Yes. Yeah. She's just, she hates. But I listen to my books. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah I was about yeah. to say, she never opens books because of all the movies that she's watched that she's learned the lesson. But the kids are trying to undo the uh, the spell where they put, they made Binks into a cat. And he comes up and slaps Max in the face. He's like, nothing good can come from that book. Don't touch it. And he's right. Because when the book is open, somehow there's a huge beam of light <laughs> that goes up into the sky mm-hmm. and the witches can locate it and it's only outside. Yeah. It doesn't actually yeah. come out of the book. The book is just like somehow projecting a big beam of light like a laser show. Like, here yeah. I am, come and get me. Yeah. It's a beacon. Yes, it's a beacon. 
And oh, I love this part where Allison, she's discovered that if she uh, rings salt around herself, that she'll be safe from the witches, which is true, but it's like she has a seizure when she's pouring the salt around. She's just like flinging <laughs> yeah, her body know, all yeah. over the place. So I know you don't watch Supernatural, but in Supernatural, yeah. they're I've very, very careful yes, about that salt, salt because yeah. heaven forbid, just wind just. Yeah, yeah. Goodness I love knows that show. there's that never out, ominous wind. Comes uh, out very soon, the last season. It's going to be a great <laughs> season. Yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw the first three seasons. I I've watched all 14 and I'm ready for 15. You and Meg need to talk because she's I, a big I am so excited to meet Meg. <laughs> I, I watched up to like season. I, I, I genuinely liked it for a while, but it just kind of got. Oh, absolutely. But I'm like, I'm committed. I'm too the far. Three of us, yeah. I think have talked about that. Or I maybe we, we talked have, about it yeah. with another guest. I, Cause yes. to me, it's just like, there are no consequences. It, there's all this build up, build up, mm-hmm. build up. It's the end of the world. End of the world. Angels oh, look, and demons. Boobs. And yeah, then, boobs. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're yeah. Right. It's pretty, pretty obvious in you're this wrong. shot. They're like, Hey, let's, uh, let's get the teenage boys to watch the movie. And the dads. And the dads. Yeah. yeah, you gotta. Yeah, and, and, Matthew, and Matthew Broderick, and the way she's just like writhing around on that broom too. I know pretty, it's pretty <laughs> sexual. Yeah. They're still married. Oh, right? oh did you see you that know, motion? I, I was actually gonna. I I don't remember. Um, yes, they're still married. They are still married. Yes, they are. That's awesome. I like when when um, they've both Hollywood made, couples survive. They've like both that. made uh, appearances on comedians and cars getting coffee with Jerry Seinfeld. Have they? Yes, they oh, have. Okay. Uh, he took Matthew. But wait Broderick a minute. To, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Ferris Bueller. Uh huh. Matthew Broderick. Yes. I thought he was married to... Um, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey. No, they were engaged. Remember, we talked about this on my dad, Morgan's episode, when we talked about Ferris Bueller. He was engaged to Jennifer Grey, and that's the time where he uh, killed that guy. Yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. yeah um, there was some sort of accident, and it was vehicular homicide, but Jennifer Grey is married to the guy from the Marvel movies where uh, Nick Fury tricks them into thinking that this agent guy dies mm. and uh, mm. he mm-hmm. he plants a Robert Downey uh, he plants a Iron Man card on him so that Robert Downey Jr. will get upset and want to avenge him mm-hmm. and he's like hey his first name was Agent that's who Jennifer Grey is married to in okay. real life okay. and Matthew okay. Broderick okay. is married okay. to Sarah okay. Jessica Parker they've yeah. been married they a long heard. long time okay. they have since 97 uh-huh. so and four years after this movie and, and they, they have three children which have very mm-hmm. long weird names really what are they uh, first one is Marion Loretta Elwell Broderick Najini. James Wilkie Broderick and Tabitha Hodge Broderick. The last one's probably the best, but that's not uh, for Hollywood. Okay that's Marion Loretta Elwell Broderick. That's four names. Yeah, but yeah. then you have Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Look who named up their Kiefer kids Sutherland. Scout. Oh no, Kiefer Sutherland has like six names. Okay, yeah, I'll look it up. Uh, uh, they were they also did a uh, they were together in Mars Attacks, which was directed <laughs> by Tim Burton. Who also directed Edward Scissorhands, and so it's connected to this <laughs> movie. It's like six oh degrees of. You have it, okay? Kiefer Sutherland's full name? Kiefer William Frederick Dempsey George Rufus Sutherland. Yep. Sutherland. Dear God. Yeah. Yeah. That's like his parents were like, "We're done having children. We're just gonna slap all the names that we liked on no, the last he, one." No, he was on the grand tour and he said that, and, and then he said he joked. He said his dad owed a lot of people money. Yeah, he's only five nine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that's, but that's, but all those are relatively normal names, even though there's a lot of a them lot packed of them. in. Yeah. Unlike, you know, Scout, Willis, Apple, Apple, <laughs> uh, Pilot, and no, what is his name? Uh, Jason Lee's kid, Inspector Pilot something. Or oh, do we want to talk about the Kardashian pilot. children? No, or, no, okay. no, 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 <laughs> just no, checking, no, glossing not, no. right and, over and, that. And I will, I will cut your microphone off. <laughs> um, we have a strict no Kardashian rule in this yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. I approve yeah. of this. Yeah. All right, so back to the Sanderson sisters. Yeah. yeah They're so about to try to feed Danny the potion. Yeah. Because they found their recipe for and, their witch's brew. And, and they they should have watched uh, Temple of Doom because they already figured out how to do this exact same thing in Temple of Doom. And it, it just makes me think of the ripoff from Clerks the Animated Series. Wow, that just ruins everything. Thanks a bunch. Because <laughs> they're totally ripping off Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> just rip the guy's heart out. It's been done. Yeah. A day- daylight it, monkey brain. Can I just point out that that really irritates me? It's not daylight savings time. No. Okay. It's daylight saving time. And I think that uh, movie producers could probably do a little work and get that correct. Well, I'm that's sorry. like how people say cul de sac instead of calls de sac. Yeah. So. Also in this scene, do the witches not understand that but, the sun doesn't just sort of explode? Isn't cul de sac, isn't that French though? And they always yes, drop but it's, like it's, the last letter i don't know what the exact rule is i just know that cole's de sac is the proper um what do you at home think 
Hit us up on Instagram. Uh, But yeah, so no, but but he he does. He tricks them, and the the, well, he tricks them a couple of times in with very simple methods. Like he tricks them with the water from the sprinkler. Yeah. Then he tricks them with headlights from a car. And you would think that like if they're gonna turn to dust or something, that they would anticipate like it might hurt or something. Yeah. But all they do is see the light, and it's very Wizard of Oz. Like, oh, I'm melting. Well, they they also fall down on the ground. Like the the death of like the rain or whatever, but they, they got touched by the water anyway. And they're like, Oh my God, we're going to stay away. Like they're, yeah. And Sarah Jessica Parker, she has a sexual moment with that too, Jason, where the sprinklers are going and Bette Midler's like, Oh, it's just plain water. And she goes, yes, it's really refreshing. And she's jumping up and down with her mouth wide open. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, I was like, goodness, this is, I know that they're witches and the sun is apparently bad for them, but it seems like they could tell the difference between the sun coming up and someone turning on a light, a light. with a red gel. Because the sun it. isn't like, you know, it's not a neon red. Witches are about like the lunar cycle. Like, you know, they know I, the I moon. Guess. They don't know the sun. I, I guess. And, I guess. And I mean, daylight saving wasn't even a thing when they, he doesn't have to explain it to them. I know. They, yeah. I, noticed <laughs> that too. I was like, like he, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, I we, was actually, we didn't do that back then. I was actually waiting for that when I watched because he goes daylight saving time. And that Looking. means that the clocks are off, you know, <laughs> like, oh, OK, now oh. I think we're trying to shoehorn logic into a movie where it just doesn't belong. So I'm, I'm going to stop worrying about it. God, I hate those teeth. I hate the Bette Midler teeth. It's the one thing I would change in this movie. I, I, I Why does it bug you so much? I don't know. It just irritates me. But, you know, lots of things irritate me. So you know, <laughs> you're a, a crotchety thing. old yeah. man. Should that be so. another blog post? Yes, things that irritate me. Well, it really grinds my gears. Yeah. Oh, news radio reference. <laughs> well, also, uh, we haven't had anything with Phil Hartman on uh, in it. We need to. We yeah, need we to. Need, fix we, that. Yeah, we need to get a Phil Hartman project. We need to do here. news radio. Anyway. Oh my it's, god! It's awesome. Yes, I love that show. Oh, and there are just all these different problems with. <laughs> There's just I'm trying to shoehorn logic in again. Apparently, Salem, Massachusetts, didn't even have its own bus line in 1993 yet. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff happening. Are you? Does kidding it have me? one now? Are you kidding me? This movie is crap. <laughs> but but is it is it still better than Halloween Town? <laughs> oh, being shot in the face <laughs> is better than Halloween Town. If I had a choice between <laughs> Halloween Town or syphilis, oh my god. No, gonorrhea, because dad a pretty name. Dad, dad a pretty name. <laughs> okay. Um, where, where's the button? I, I don't, uh, we don't have a delay button on here. Uh, we'll delay is gone. <laughs> uh, don't tell him. We'll just edit it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why gotta be a black cat? <laughs> this has gotta go. Yeah, this I, is not, no. We're, we're lost taking this episode. Out. Oh, here's no. your favorite part, Jade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's pause it. And let's go back. And let's watch this five or six times. Oh, I hate. Ugh. Where he, uh, he sticks a knife ah, in his he mouth. He sticks the pocket knife in his mouth. Ugh. Those well, are real moths, too. But he's not Ugh. He's not Ugh. cutting his mouth, though. I, mean, I know, he's, but he's think just, about I, how I dry his lips must be in the skin. Oh, sorry. I smacked yeah, him on my neck. He clearly yeah. doesn't feel it. He lost his head, and he wasn't like, ow. He that was doesn't like, bother me. It's, it's the pocket knife I'm just saying it doesn't hurt him. You buck mopped riding firefly from hell. Yeah, it's a great line. Why did I say that for? He does kind of yeah. look like Michael Jackson in the Thriller <laughs> video, just with the, with the and Edward floppy hair. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah, I see Edward Scissorhands. It's an amalgam of things, really. But with a ponytail, so Edward yeah. S- Edward Scissorhands didn't have a ponytail. So there's your difference. He didn't. He just had a crazy. White he had hair. more uh, Winifred hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> standing up on top of his head. Yep. It is. Um, yeah, the movie is surprisingly dark. Or yes. a Disney kids movie. And I think it, it, it bears repeating like like the scene where the kids are sort of like wandering up to the place to be killed and they're all in like the trance. Yeah. I don't know. That was just very creepy mm-hmm. to me, you know? Bit, yeah. Um, now, of course, they uh, they uh, they didn't get a uh, concession from the Morton's company. So you'll notice that the salt canisters they use in these movies are very not Morton's salt. Yep. It just know? says salt. 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 <laughs> They went, oh. to, they went to Sam's Club and bought <laughs> salt. And here's, oh, here's the second movie where they just gloss over a really weird aspect because uh, that is a pivotal scene where Billy cuts his mouth free and he's actually against the witches. You think that he's on their side because he is chasing the kids around for a good portion of the movie, but then it turns out 
oh, he hates Bette Midler, because why? She murdered him. Yeah. And uh, he helps to protect the little girl who they're trying to abduct again. They they try to take her like 40 times. And uh, at one point, he, Billy walks up with Max, and he's like, oh, it's cool. He's a nice zombie. And yeah. they're like, oh, okay. And they just accept it and move on. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it, it, one thing that kind of surprised me about the movie is that- Do uh, tell. When it starts off, I really thought, what's the name of the uh, the girl with the abos? Allison. Allison. I actually figured she would be much more of a, uh, of the A character, you know, but really it's more Max and Thor Birch. Yeah, because there's that whole shift in their dynamic is that yeah. in the beginning, she's she's the annoying little sister who pesters him and he's the he's the kind of surly and mean to her and they have nice moments here and there, but it has to come full circle like it did with Thackeray and his little sister. Cause that's what opens the movie Yeah, is that Emily uh, is the first child that we see killed by the Sanderson sisters. Right. And let's and just, Thackeray, let, let, let's focus on that for a second. Cause it's again, a Disney movie. Mm-hmm. She's the first child killed. Uh-huh. She is dead yep. at the end of that scene. And, and with she him, did it to herself though, too. Cause if you think about it, so they're trying to feed her the potion. She's not taking it. And then Thackeray comes in and there's all this hustle and bustle. And then the next thing they're like, look, she did it. So she's probably like, bump this. Let's just go. Who knows? Uh, and then. That's gangster. It, yeah. Well, two kids do it because Max does the same thing. When, yeah, but he yeah. does it to he, save his yeah, he's sister. Doing it to she, save her. Yeah. She's just like, I'm just going to sit here. Maybe she was in a trance or something. Who knows? She's like Kaiser Soze. You know? <laughs> 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 she's not fighting I'm not explaining it. that. Yeah. We're just, the right people will get that. Yeah, we can't explain that one because. No, 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 no. Did I ever tell you the story, did, totally aside, uh, surprisingly, the uh, I had a friend of mine that for years he'd said um, he had never seen The Usual Suspects. And, mm-hmm. and for years it was a thing with all of us that we could never say who Kaiser Soze was around this person because we were going to make him watch the movie. Right. And we didn't want to ruin it. And for ages it was like, yeah, I'm going to watch it with you one of these days. I really want to see it. But Well, you know. if he's seen Scary Movie, it's already ruined for him. Well, no. We sort of. F- we, finally, we finally got him over to, uh, to, to, the pl- to the house one day and it's like, okay, we're going to watch The Usual Suspects. Mm-hmm. And before that, we, we had the TV on and an episode of MST3K was on. <laughs> and in that episode, literally, oh, no. while we're waiting to watch it, Kevin uh, Kevin Murphy at one point goes verbal Kent is Kaiser Soze. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, you've got to be kidding! He was me. dead the whole time. <laughs> God. Also, uh, spoiler alert: um, retroactively, if you haven't seen the Usual Suspects, mm-hmm. you should have. You should have by now. Come on. Well, it's like my uh, friend of mine had never seen the Boondock Saints, and he was asking me about. It. He goes, "Wait a minute, isn't that?" Um, what's the movie where it ends in a shootout in a warehouse? I was like, that's Reservoir Dogs. He goes, okay, well, what? then what's the movie? That's a lot of movies, actually. <laughs> no, no, hold on. He was like, then what's the movie where the guys are all named after colors? And I was like, that's Reservoir Dogs. I was like, are you trying to tell me you haven't seen the Boondock Saints? And we sat him down right that minute and made him watch it. So when your friends that's, tell that, you no. that you need to watch a movie that, that yeah. is that iconic, sit down and watch yeah. it because it's going to get ruined. Pull a gun on them, tie them to a chair, make them watch the make movie. Make them eat the burger. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Not bite the lemon. Eat yeah. the burger. Oh. <laughs> Very. Di- you already said lemon biter today know, in this episode. I know. Uh, but yeah, so getting back to Thackeray and Emily, uh, they, and it's dark too. What they do to Thackeray, the the witches murder his sister and then mm-hmm. make him feel like it's his fault, and they're yeah. like, he'll live with this guilt forever yeah. as a cat that can't die. And you got to love that effect too, because and, the, and and also too, they specifically show the cat going up to Thackeray's dad, uh huh, and, and getting kicked away. And yeah, Shoot, I got so sad. Yeah. That. that is the saddest uh, thing in the it world. It is so sad. Yeah. And, and the well, little meow he said, "Yeah, yeah, he's uh, like, away, beast." And he's been guarding the house for three hundred years yeah. because he doesn't <clears> want anybody to bring the Sanderson sisters back to life. It's it's actually a very he obviously serious. didn't do a good job. <laughs> well, he made it 300 years. I have I haven't succeeded at anything for 300 years. So Yeah, you know, same. I mean. That's a pretty good track record. And this is very mummy-like, too, uh, where she's, like, sucking out his life force. Yeah. Like Emotep and Brendan Fraser. It's like but, the same sunrise from Lion King. Yeah. The sun <laughs> is huge. <laughs> it's gigantic. But you see, it's kind of funny how this works out because uh, they they pull on your heartstrings a lot with Banks the Cat because you see him get smacked by the bus that the witches are riding around him with the uh, the horny driver yeah. and he's smushed in the middle of the street 
And the little girl, Danny, is like, oh, my God, no, thanks. And then he, you see him reinflate. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he's like, oh, God, I hate when that happens. <laughs> so apparently he's died quite a few oh, times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in 300 years, it's bound to happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think it just sort of goes without saying. Yeah, see, are you afraid of the dark? It was glitter and yeah. non-dairy creamer. Yeah. <laughs> she exploded. Non-dairy creamer, that's the foundation of the uh, the sort of being. Why do they have to meow again? I Meowing said- weekly. <laughs> Yeah, because listeners, in case you aren't aware, Katie has a cat, so she's she's having a difficult time right now. I am. Yeah, so <laughs> Billy looks happy. I'm not okay with that. But yeah, so, so the witches are defeated. Yeah. I'm no, defeated. The witch is dead. <laughs> witch the, old witch. All yeah. the witch. Yeah. The, All the witches. The the witches have lost, and it, it it sort of everything sort of comes back to what I guess was the point of the movie. Thackeray and Emily. Which is getting and, Thackeray uh, and his sister. Yeah, back. it all ties together yeah. because it's it's Max and, uh, I want to say Thora, because that's her real Danny. name. Yeah. Max and Danny yeah. and Thackeray and Emily. Did they make uh, a sequel or a spinoff or anything from this? Was this No, it? they're mm-hmm. talking about it. They, they wrote a book. Really? I haven't heard it's good. Because uh, uh, Bette Midler said surprise. something about how it's in, it, the ball is in Disney's court. Like, if they want to remake it, she said she's on board. But she doesn't have any power over it, so. And uh, you gotta love this. Everything kind of ties up pretty neatly, mm-hmm. uh, and sadly, because Binks the cat finally dies now that the witches are defeated. I guess because they're <laughs> it's uh, so dark. It's it like, is finally it's, we can die. Well, in same <laughs> with Billy the zombie. You yeah, think, yeah. But he just lays back in his grave and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna have a good nap," and then he just collapses back into his grave. Dead. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, well, Binks. It's back to hell for me. Later. <laughs> was, oh, Bette Midler's got that great line where she's like, I've actually been to hell. It's quite lovely. I rather enjoyed it or whatever. Because uh, she's just so dark. She's a bad witch. So hell is nothing to her. But yeah, so yeah. Oh, Danny's crying because Binks the cat is dead. Ooh. But it's okay because his ghost appears to kiss her on the cheek and tell her, my soul is finally free. <laughs> Hey, it's Hayden Christensen. There's, a, there's only one son, so this <laughs> yeah, isn't going to yeah. work. <laughs> Mr. Williams. I wish it was Hayden Christensen. Oh, that would be so perfect. <laughs> we could connect those two movies. So he's a force ghost now. I had the high... I had the high... But yet she can hold his hand. Yeah, because of like the Physics. principle of... Mm, is it, is it <laughs> Uh, Back when the Sanders <laughs> sisters died in yeah. 16, uh, <laughs> yeah. since we can't decide what year it was. In Man, she's a blind ghost, too. And yeah. it's kind of funny, like, yeah. their their accents are a little... It, yeah, non-specific. Strange. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's like a borderline English accent that James Marsden has throughout when he's playing the cat, and uh, it, it doesn't fit well, with the well, lingo that they have. He's like, oh, yes, you silly airhead. No, but, <laughs> like, but James Marston has, it's the Connor McLeod thing. He's been around for three years. Jason, <laughs> his name is Jason Marsden. James Marsden is oh, the actor. X-Men. Oh, X-Men. Right? J- uh, Who's J- Yeah. He's also Cyclops, in... Cyclops, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I've been calling this guy the wrong name the entire time. Yeah, bit. I was like, wait a second. It's Marsden that's stuck in my head. Sorry, too Jason familiar. Marsden. Jason, Not related. I'm sorry. Don't Other Jason, yeah, not you. Yeah, I don't care about you. Yeah, um, yeah Mr. Marsden, I, I had apologize. to wait 300 years for some lame-ass version to light a candle. Yes, they keep coming <laughs> back the last to the line of, thing. The last line of the movie is a dig on him <sighs> for being a virgin. Wait, no, that game. was the Every last thing I wrote down in my notebook. Virgin. You just take a shot. <laughs> Oh, uh, and he hugs his sister, and everything is happy. Yeah, no, they're just the virgin thing. There are a couple of more sexual things that yeah. stood out, like uh, the bullies before they get locked in those bird cages that they leave them in. Like the, yeah, they never awesome. get released from the cages that We're you about, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the parents are released. Yeah, no, I think it's awesome that he just takes the kids' shoes. It takes his he shoes. He takes his back. shoes back. Yeah, and leaves the kids hanging there. And as far as you know, like they never, they never get out because at the end, when the credits are rolling. They're both singing, um, what are row, they singing? Row, 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 row your boat. Yeah. Yep. There, there they, they are. are. <laughs> in their little bird cages. But earlier, before the witches got hold of them, they were just sort of bumming around and breaking <laughs> bottles and stuff. And it was like, hey, want to look in windows and watch babes undress? Dude, it's three o'clock, man. They're already undressed. <laughs> like, it's just some of the random stuff in if, this movie. If they did a sequel, I think they should do it with Max in it again, and he's still a virgin. Oh God! It's like, like thirty years later. Oh, oh, but see, oh, here's the question mark moment. Inside out. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. No, but the the questionable ending where you go back to the skin 
Yes, book. the Necronomicon. Yes. <laughs> Necronomicon, yes. yeah. The, Necronomicon. Yeah. the Book yeah. of the Dead. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And it's got the moving eyeball in it, and the eyeball, the eyelid opens. Oh, and the book is still around. So but maybe they the, left it open-ended, I guess. But maybe now it, it'll be like the zombie, where without the witch there, the book doesn't have to be evil, and he can go off and have a successful career making, like, he could publish stuff. Here or, we go. There you go. Yeah, you know? <laughs> he'll be on Oprah, and, you know? Sitting in a chair. He works for Audible. <laughs> yes, he'll he jump up and down on the yes. couch and talk about how he loves Katie Holmes. It'll be yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's got not, a bright future ahead of him. He's actually, I, I, I take him much more seriously than that. Big time. Yeah, he'll retire to a nice library. Don't yeah. even act like we're not going to be <laughs> yeah. first in line for Top Gun sequel. <laughs> like, are you on, kidding me? We're going to be there the second that the tickets are on sale. I'm buying them. It's happening. Yeah. We're like I say, we go at midnight. Oh yeah, I'm going to the first screen. You probably yet. go before midnight now. I think they come out yeah. like Thursday, like. Dinner time. But yeah. yeah, that used to be the fun thing, like back when movies were, you know. I got burned pretty bad on that, though. With, really? Uh, with uh, episode one. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You... Wait, waiting overnight to buy the tickets. I was out, yeah. I was in a crowd of Misa like Jar Jar 150 <laughs> people. We, there were people there with couches, you know, we were all hanging out in line. It was mm-hmm. a big old wonderful thing. People had music playing, and then we saw the movie. And that was You said it. that was the day that your childhood that was wonder it. died. That was it. <laughs> I was not a cynical, bitter husk of a human being until, until that, that day. day. And, uh, and as always, Ahmed Best. Oh, yeah. We love you. We love you, Ahmed Best. We're not Best. coming down it's on you. It's not your fault. Oh. It's not your fault. It absolutely isn't. Please come on the podcast. We love you. So, all right, guys. What else can we say well, about I, this movie? I think on the scale of Alf to Halloween Town. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait Alf like, is a negative something? Like no, the, Alf. The Alf, plane. Yeah, Alf is fantastic. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like yes, Halloween Town is yes. the negative part of that scale. Yeah, so it actually should be Halloween or uh, Seinfeld to Alf to Halloween Town with Halloween Town way, well, way What if you have like a <laughs> Halloween movie scale? Okay. All right. So Halloween Town being the worst. I, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it's at the Ooh, bottom. But what's the best? Uh, well, what I don't know. Are we talking scary? Or are we talking just just holds up? Yeah, I, I think for Halloween it should probably just be the most Halloween, the one that makes you up, feel the most like it's Halloween. That I'm movie, watching. that movie I just Hocus watched. Pocus, that's always so the for star Katie. for me. <laughs> uh, uh, but that's I don't. It's not a definitive. Like movie where everybody absolutely agrees on it. You I mean, know what I mean? I, I would want, I'd want something kind of scary. You know, it's like it's not scary. Just, about. just dark. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers is a good movie. Yeah, it, it, I've never yeah. seen it because, like I yeah. said, I was a total chicken growing up. And once I heard that my friends who liked scary movies left that movie and they were like, it scared the holy hell out well, of me. I was like, nope, nope, not doing Jeepers it. Jeepers Creepers won't really scare you. The thing with Jeepers Creepers is that it's... It's the Scarecrow, right? Uh, yes. It just... The ending is scary, and we won't get into that. No, but I you think told me about... You spoiled it for me creepers. when we were when we were talking to Adam Darby about it. It's true. Uh, you did tell. You, to, you told I me listened. the ending because we talked That's about right, scary yeah. stories to tell in the dark, and I, I told you that Scarecrow story. So. All right, fine. Whatever. Seinfeld and Halloween Town is the scale. Okay, well, what... <laughs> let's just... Okay, so... All right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> from Halloween if, Town to Seinfeld. If, if if we did though, if we did put this on the Alf to Seinfeld scale, because mm-hmm. we do need to wrap it up. Yes. Where would it go? And I'm going to guess if we did it honestly, it'd be about in the middle. I was I about to it's say probably I'd about it, as good as it was then. Yeah, I'd give it a five and a half. Katie? I would give it an eight, but I mean, I love this movie. Well, and I no, because remember times. the scale. The scale isn't. It's not. It's mm-hmm. really, really good. It's, Absolutely. It's. If it's just as good today as it was back then, it's a five. Oh, then because, yeah, it's a five. Yeah, because because it's, Seinfeld so, is something that you hated as a that's kid, right, but so got better yeah. with okay, time. Yeah, okay, okay, so yeah, I guess adult, it would yes. be a five. But yeah. as far as a movie as as a whole, I definitely give it. We're like perfecting an the eight. science behind yeah. this. I, I would actually say for me, it'd probably be more like a six or a seven because I really didn't care about it whenever I was younger. But watching Same. it now, it's, it wasn't. It's, 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 I get I like more out of it though. Still, like the older I got, I got more out of it. It was funny. It just it was a little cringeworthy to me with some of the sexual jokes and stuff. Since like you I said, I wasn't into it as a kid, and but like <laughs> I was a like, kid saying virgin and like some of this dirty st- like I don't know some of the dirty jokes that were happening. I, yeah. it was I a little didn't know what virgin was at that age because ninety three we were five. Yes, we would have been five years old in ninety three. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we had wait, we would have been. S- 
would have been. I, I was 14. So our I, birthday would have happened. I was just yeah, at the point where happened. I was lying, where me and all my friends <laughs> were lying about if we were virgins. Yeah, but you were, yeah, you're a teenager. Yeah, yeah we so were all like, point. no, I'm not. I'm oh, like, like 15, 15 times or so. At Eddie, least. is it? Have you done it <laughs> yeah. yet? No, I'm yeah. not from your country. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, uh, so um, I I think that about wraps it up for Hocus Pocus. It was great performances. It the one thing I will say uh, about Debbie Reynolds from Halloween Town is that the witches in these projects really do commit. Like same with Eartha Kitt and Ernest. You've got you've got these relatively hokey movies that you're looking at, but the ladies who have played the witches or the the old crone type characters, they kill it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they're really committed, and it, that makes the show. So it's like you said, it, it is Bette Midler in a movie yeah. that you would not expect her to be in. And she, she cranks it up a notch. And I think all the witches really make the story. Yeah. So. Well, um, I think on that note, uh, I would like to thank everybody for joining us for yet another one of our Halloween episodes. Uh, we will be back again uh, with some more spooky movies. And I think we're going to try to do it a some little bit. Some genuinely scary genuinely movies. Genuinely scary yeah. movies. Some uh, of them will be scary for other reasons than yeah, most yeah. Uh, uh, from what I understand. And Bette Midler's teeth. Yeah. It, <laughs> yes. <laughs> until then, you can find us on the web at uh, hindsight.show. You or can, you can find us on Facebook because Jason doesn't know any of our social media handles, so I'll just take over from here. You can find us at Hindsight Horror on Twitter and Facebook alike or at Hindsight or Hindsight is Horrifying on Instagram. So I know that's the only relevant one that you guys interact with us on. My mom, she reposts a lot of our stuff on Facebook. Like um, moms do. Yeah, yeah don't, my mom does all the time. And speaking of your mom, don't forget we have merchandise. Your yes. mom just bought some uh, some notebooks uh, at store dot hindsight uh, dot show, or you can just go to the website hindsight dot show and then click the link to buy merchandise. And get ready because we're going to gear up for a giveaway with uh, merchandise. I think that's still up in the air as to yeah, what we are the gonna item's be going that. to yeah. be. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. So stay tuned, listeners, and we will keep you in the loop. And and lastly, if you listened, if you liked it, please go to uh, go to iTunes and rate us. Give us five stars. Uh, write something if you feel like it, but at the very least, please go and, and rate the show. It's very important to us. It helps to keep the lights on. And other than that, I think, uh, Katie, thank you very much for joining us again. Yeah. And, and hopefully we'll see you again next week for uh, for something spooky. Yeah, to be determined. Yeah, something thank you guys for having scary. me. Um, thank you, Hindsiders. And uh, remember, it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus. Yes. Ah, and she on, did it. <laughs> and, on that, and on that note, thank you very much for spending your daytime, your nighttime, your drive time, or whatever time with us. Until next time, uh, take care, Hindsiders, and this is Jason Mitchell signing off, and my co-hosts are ignoring This has been Darth Jader. (laughs) Bye. Good night.